this disclaimer. This video, like all videos featured on this channel, is definitely intended for mature audiences. This video is likely to contain profane language. Content is inappropriate for minors. This video is not for kids. Welcome to the Dr. Green Dumb Show. Not a They tell us that we need help constantly. I don't believe them. <laughs> I got some help for you. I do the, I do the man. How you doing? It's the Dr. Great Thumb Show live right here on YouTube, Twitch, Discord, and BeReal.TV and the rest. Welcome to it. I'm Dr. Great Thumb. Hello. To my right, a legend in the game, Hitman Julio G up in here. With a fatty today. Look at that. Oh, man. Mm -hmm. That's going to be good today. That's right. Um, we also got my man, another legend, Psycho Leezy up in here. Salute, salute. A lot of legends in here today. It's going to yeah. be crazy. Happy Valentine's, by the way. Oh, yeah, that's right. Happy Valentine's. To the world. That's right. Yeah, to the world, for sure. True this. Uh, we got the Treehouse crew up in the up in the piece, Bolton, Blombo, Bra Bra, and the Dominator. We're doing good, B. We also got Callie Blaze up in here joining us. In the nest. Cuts straight king, Callie Blaze. Hello, hello. What's happening, bro? You what up, G? Up there with snacks. Yes, sir. I see it. We got the strong one in the house, strong tone. What's up, everybody? Same thing. That's right. And back in the building, it's been a minute. My man, Whitey Ford, <laughs> a.k.a. Everlast. <laughs> Wrong yeah. lower third, yes. Give it up, give it up. There Legendary. we go, that's the right one. Yeah. Hey. Wait, wait, wait. Legendary. Oh, I see. I see myself. Yeah. Right. Hey, you're over there. I see, I see myself winking at me. There you go. <laughs> that's it. Hello. Yeah, baby. Uh, <laughs> welcome to it. This is the legend table right here, as, as one might know. Hip hop. Who was it? Was that me? It wasn't me. Oh. It, 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 it's all good. Uh, welcome back, bro. Yeah, man. You know, I just, I'm like I said right before. I like staying home. It's, yeah, it's been real advantageous for me. Oh yeah, <laughs> it's chilling, smoking out, locking in. I even forgot I told you I'd come today until you sent me. That. <laughs> I, you know, so I was like, oh yeah. Man. See, I went through the same thing. I was like, oh man, I forgot to call E. I got to make sure he's coming in I today. I and then drink. when I looked, I up, just cursed. I think I have to drink something. I, you, yeah, I got you. It. And a lot, and I looked at the phone, and you would text me because I thought, man, I got to call E to make sure he's coming still, right? And boom, it, there it was. It's like, what's the address, B? I'm like, got you. Oh, yeah, you didn't text me. I saw the post <laughs> on Instagram. I was like, oh, shit, I got to go there. Uh, that's two. <laughs> Boom. That's a double shot right there. <laughs> Come on. I got you. I got you. Two. Fuck it. I'm going to join you. How about there that? There we go. Oh, shit. Fuck it. Wow. <laughs> oh, there it is. You were like, I forgot I said I was going to go. Oh, man. You see oh, it on yeah. Instagram, huh? We don't get an ice cube, though, huh? We're going uh, like, okay, to We need ice. To your right. To your right. To your right. To your right, right down the corner. Wait, it's all right. Oh, your right. My right ah, is, is this way. No, okay. it's, it's it's to me. Here you go. E. Yes, sir. Boom. Yeah, pour me one with a little bit of ice. I got you. I need, I need a chunk. It's, it's open bar over here. It's I'm, I'm bartender today. Oh, here you go. You pouring? Here you can go ahead. Here we go. I will pour. We will distribute. You know what I'm saying? At your leisure. We're looking at uh, Psycho Leezy over here. Here, this is, can you pass it? Oh, he already got his? He hasn't even cursed and he's already three deep, man. Well, yeah, he's he's like five I like deep. it. He's five deep, you know what I mean? That's He's Porter, Porter Irish, right? That's, that's what we're talking about, right? Of course. <laughs> ginger beer, anybody? I'm good with ginger beer. 
<laughs> with no disrespect. I just, I'm good with the ginger beer. Slancha, man. Good to see you. Yeah. Good to see Cheers, you. brother. All right. Salute. Good Cheers. seeing you. Hey. Julio G. Foul mouth. We're going to tell stories about Julio G. Come pie. First man in the universe to play Everlast record. I was about on, to say on, that on, on, on the air. 1988, yep. 1580 K Day. It's crazy when wow. you think about how many records my man Jeezy broke in this city right here. Uh, right. The very first a, span all of them. ever. Probably all of them. A lot of Ninety percent. A lot of people think like '90s a lot, but they don't remember the no, 1980 K Day. They don't remember the K Day. No, 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 those were the days too. That's Ever why I say ninety percent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. People don't really know how much I done it like in the '80s, but Everlast. I'll never forget that because the record he put out was called Syndication, and uh, I remember hearing it at the house, and I remember it said. He was rhyming and he would stop. Hey, what's that sound? And I, I just knew that that was, I knew the original song too, but I just thought it was so catchy. And that at that time of hip hop, that people weren't really flipping things like that. And I said, man, I got to play this dude's record, man. I played it a lot of times, actually. I played Syndication a lot on 1580 K because I just loved the whole beat and just the way he rhymed. You know, I've always been a fan of Everlast since that first record. You know what I mean? So, I just remember. My mother, father, sister, all like, yeah, right, you made a record type shit. And I was like, I knew they had it. I, and the only time I thought it was. That's, that's, I'll, I'll drink eight of them. That's, <laughs> relax. Uh, that's just uh, to keep count. Uh, that's the third, right? I'm yeah. on two right here. Right, let me just use a there. bomb. Use a bomb from now on. <laughs> <laughs> What's it? The price is right? Or yeah, <laughs> the price is wrong on this one. <laughs> Every shot. Counts. Anyway, so my whole family, and so I knew the first, and nobody was going to play it until it got played on the mix. Masters at midnight. Right. So I was every night I was tuning in. Nobody even knew the radio was on in the house. And when, that was the stand. When I heard it come on, the intro, I ran around my whole house. Get the fuck up. <laughs> <They're home. laughs> there you go. That's my record on the radio. That's a reprieve. Yeah. There we go. We grant reprieve for that one. He had. I was it blew my mind. And I don't think I really. We didn't put it together actually to, until you were touring with me. Yeah, and yeah, I yeah. I was like, dude, you told that, me and it yeah. reminded me. Oh, you're right. Like, I you did were, play your record first. You were the first. DJ that night, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah you were the first. I mean, we broke it down. He's it, like, yeah, that was me. Yeah, it, that was it's, me. I love that like, record. Like back then, when we was coming up, it was so important to to be heard on the radio. That was everything to us. Like when. The you know, first time they, hey bro, oof. it was. I would have dropped dead right after that. It, I probably would have been like, you, you did I, it. I, I did it. You did I did it. it. You did God, it. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that was everything. You hit. You went to the level you wanted th that you hit. Right. Hey, no. look. I'll tell you what though. A lot of people didn't know that. You know, we had we had a relationship with you, like as as brothers growing up, like in the coming same neighborhoods yeah. coming up. No one, no one really knew that. Part and, and like how it intertwines later, like yeah, yeah. with touring yeah. all of us, you know, at some point, you know what I mean? Like yeah. you touring with I Everlast, with Everlast and, too, yeah. and touring For with us, while. and then yeah. and then the tours together and all For all sure. the stuff encompassed, man. No Julio really used to keep my band in check, like not just like me, like he used to psych do psych psychology sessions yeah, with yeah. guys. Like you're gonna fuck up, man. You need yeah. this. Yeah, he was yeah. always doing that. Hey, because I'll tell you, I'll tell you what. When when he came on to DJ with Cypress, pour me another so they could shut up back there. No, you're good. You're good. I, I got you. Oh, I, I are, are you? All right. I owe yeah. one. I want to have it in there. I, I'll say this: when, I don't like leaving it in the bank or somebody else holding my. Di Just give me the one I owe. All right. <laughs> I'll say this: I'll, I'll yo, get around two. to it. When when Julio came in <laughs> to to get on the turntables for Cypress, I gotta say, it became sharp. <clears throat> there was no looseness anywhere. Like our, the show was like pop pop pop. And we then would the, get off on time, exactly on time. Yes, we did like, everything perfect. Yeah, yeah, that it was. It was like, do you know? And yeah, I was pro. Probably, it yeah. was uh, that was all pro, Julio. Let me, yeah, I must let me tell you, you something crazy though. I want to ask you, Everlast, because touring with you, what I learned about you that's as I've worked with so many different artists, DJ wise and stuff. You know what I mean? Like doing shows and stuff. Um, one thing that I noticed about you is that you 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 wanted to practice. Like you you were really focused on practicing and practicing, and like you was in that zone. It wasn't just like a loose practice. It was like all right, man, so we going 7 o'clock to 10 o'clock. 7 o'clock came on, it was work. It wasn't like hanging out and bullshit. It was like 7 to 10, we're going to practice, and we're going to practice it over and over because we were doing a lot of live things. Remember we were doing like Wait, microphone being live? I was about to say live. one we of the main reasons for that just to get a rep. we, we weren't live. running off tapes. No, we were live. You were, we were locking to yeah. what you were doing. Yeah. So it was like 
either we're all good or we're all clowns. Oh, we're fucking up. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. So and reprieves. <laughs> yeah. I, I said clowns right now. Yeah. No, I, 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 I said, gave I a said, brief. I re yeah, yeah. reprieve Tulio because it's a great story. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, that's you know, especially because I've always worked with a live DJ. You know that I've always been like, no, we got to be locked. Yeah, no, absolutely. Ain't, ain't and, gonna be a tape and a tick in a guy's earphone. No, you know what I mean, we didn't no, do that. No, the only guy allowed to have an earphone. No, on no, the, no, on the no. Stage and that's you. why the band I used to be like, yo, man, we got to lock in a little bit better because we're just not locking. We would do Apache, remember? And it was like we had to have Apache and, and right because you it. can't mess Apache up. No, <laughs> kill it, <laughs> kill it. And we used to do, we used to do Microphone Fiend live. We used to do just to get a rap from Gangstar, and I would do the actual primo cuts with the record and. It was like all live, like Everlast said. But I learned a lot from Everlast for that reason. I always tell people the stories of that. I was like, I learned how to like take practicing more serious. Oh like, yeah, like and understand practice? why we're doing. Why talking we're about talking practice? about practice? <laughs> practice? <laughs> what are you talking about? No, but I learned that from. Hey, that's why I respect you so much because I knew that Thank every you, time man. I listen to your music, I know that it's serious and it's real, and he puts a hundred percent into it. It ain't just some. I'm just having some fun and having. You know, kicking it. It was like serious. Like, okay, we gonna rock, and we used to rock, bro. No, on the same I, level and uh, same merit. That's why you were one of the guys. I was like, no, nah, you gotta be doing. Oh, this. for sure. I appreciate there's, it. Thank you. There's, you took there's me been a very world. short list. You took me around hey, the world. I appreciate and, and, it. And, and and you helped us get there. You know, around. Yeah, the world. yeah. So, hey, you know. Let me ask you this: when you had you were a master psychologist with some of those guys, man. Cause I had to. some of those guys. I would have just. You would yeah, you would send them home like, <laughs> yeah, I know, it, I know. like feeling way worse. <laughs> no, I have Julio to. kept guys working. Oh, yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah, <laughs> it's, a, it's a psychological game. You know, it is what it is. Let me ask you this: When when did you stop like inking pen to paper and like doing it? You know, from like just creating it in your head and then popping it off. I think from the first Syndicate song, from the first, yeah, yeah, from way I, back then. I never, I never took it that like. Books that serious, like you know, because I ran with Divine Styler and and Bilal Bashir was doing all the production. Salute and, to and, both them. And uh, <clears throat> I was just trying to learn how to write more graffiti styles and stealing from Divine Styler because mm. he had all these masterful, crazy outlines and letter styles. And yeah. I was just trying to do the graffiti stuff, and I would rap because they were all rapping, but I would do it. We would always be snapping on each other. So it'd be yeah. like, but I'd start turning it into rhymes. And Divine was the first guy to go like, hey, you could rhyme, dude. You yeah. need to you need to do something. And they actually knew about Ice-T's project. And I just did a demo. Syndication was my demo. That's really? Crazy. I swear on everything. That was That's your first nuts. thing? Yeah, that syndication wow. was a demo. And I'll be honest, the four track sounded better than the the final mix, really? dude. The wow. four track wow. test cam sometime joint. That, yeah. Sometimes dude, that happens. It, 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 it slapped so much harder than our wow. final like studio mix. It was crazy. So wow. that's like a muscle you developed way back, like because I also people, I, people try to get that later on. I like, also like kind of misinterpreted it early on what freestyle meant. That freestyle was just kind of combining. It could yeah. be like I was like. I wouldn't say I was of the ilk of the freestyle fellowship because they were on some next level <laughs> freestyling. Yeah, yeah, but like yeah. I kind of felt like whether you wrote it or not, you couldn't have it in a book. Mm -hmm. You had to pop it off. If, like, I, off if I wrote it, it's because it's in my head. You'll never find the evidence that I wrote it. Right, right. You know what right. I mean? Because it's just something I had there. I may have wrote, wrote a rhyme over 14 years because one line hit me there, one line hit me there, and then one day it was like, oh, there's the whole thing. Well, what, it was what, waiting for me. What's crazy is the way that I've seen him do it, Like, you know, because we've done many songs together, as a lot of these folks here in the asylum know. But I'll sit there and, like, I'll... I'll you know, put my my deal in in the iPad or the phone or whatever, and I'll see him thinking about it, and then he'll just come with the whole verse, like within you know whatever time it took him to like piece these things together. But it's crazy to like like it, cause some some rappers do this; they'll do like four pieces or eight bars, and then they'll come think of the next. But you're like thinking of the whole piece, the whole sixteen, in storing that. And then popping it off, that is amazing. Like, but, to me, that's amazing. Uh, yeah. It's also... Without and, penning it. It's also, and this is going to sound like throwing flowers at flowers, but I, I try to put myself in the room with beasts that mm. are just make me... It has to be a cohesive 16. Right, it has or to. Or else it's like it's it's cheating to me. Right. It's like, no, it's a piece. You made a piece. Mm. You wrote it, but you made a piece. Yeah, like four here, four there. It's like it's not gonna have that thought pattern of like 
you may not it may be simple to you not you know to yeah. to the gentleman but everything i do has a beginning middle and end and a lot of it has Within its that, own yeah. weird i won't call them codes but my own like internal thought language no wow. because you, you, <laughs> you know like, what i mean because because it's the, the same with writing song I'm, i don't i just i here's what it is Remember Oz, that show on HBO yeah. about the jail? Remember the brother who was the poet? Yeah. But he was illiterate and he drew these pictures and, they, and he, but he could recite them like they were poetry. Yeah. <laughs> it's almost reversed that for me. It's like they're, they're, they're like photo albums when I write them in my head. Right. And if I tried, even when I would try to like write them down, like when you would have to after an album came out for MTV or whatever, yeah. I'd actually get other people to do it for me. Yeah. Because the minute I touched that word and turned it from a picture to a word, I, 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 it became something I despised. I didn't like it anymore. Yeah, mm. I, I could it. see that. It, and it's, it's not it's cheating to have thing. someone else do the dictation. No, I, yeah, it. no. I'll just tell them the word, yeah. and I won't, yeah. I won't see it <clears throat> turned into something else. Mm. No, that stays. If my hand takes it and turns whatever phrase into from a building in the sky to a, three words on a piece of paper. Now it's just three words on a piece of paper to me. If you mm. know, right, right. You know what I mean? But that's an MC gift to it have is. that. Because like Biggie, the Jay Z's, you know, Little Wayne, Little Wayne, they could just go in the studio and just fill it out. It's Boom. like comic book but, shit. But you know what? It's he like said, word bubbles that float around you in a weird way. But I'll say this: yeah, it's, give me another I, one. I think there's a lot of lot of cats with pour, this. Pour me another. He, he <laughs> caught right. me. I think there's cats with this ability, right? I think but, you could but, say that one on TV now, though, for real. So which one? I'm not. He's going. To, you're trying to catch me out there again? <laughs> no, no. Just say it backwards. Ish, I get uh, ish. Yeah, we might have to. We might have, might to, have to do a reprieve. We one, might, but, might have. But I'll to, take because I'll take TV my, not, at late night is is like letting South Park has an episode yeah. where they save like 175 times. <laughs> but but I wanted to say this. Um, there's cats that got this ability like that, right? Like they can can you know formulate the verses in their head and and retain it and put it in there. But it's what he said. Got to be cohesive and make sense, and it's got to be like. You're you're re essentially writing a song in your head, right? And and songs, they got a, a beginning, middle piece, and end where it's not just a bunch of random, randomness happening. Mm -hmm. When you're writing songs in this style, man, and I I gotta say, man, it's an art for for guys to be able to write whole songs and then be songs about something mm -hmm. and kill it like that, man. You know, just, Ever Everlast. I wanted to ask you about something because. Uh, like I said, when I walked in right now, I told b I go, damn, Everlast going to be here, man. I've always, I have so many questions for him because I don't get to talk to you like on interviews, on an interview style. Did we ever really sit down for Yeah, him? I think yeah, I had you on my show a few times on the radio on 92.3. But um, <laughs> I want to ask you, like, when you did syndication, it, you took this, there was like this gap, I guess. It was time off where you kind of didn't do anything, and then you just reappear as House of Pain. And, and, I, and I wanted to ask you, like, and your rhyme flow and style, why I liked you in the beginning when I heard you on syndication, I just liked the way you rapped. I just, there's something about rappers that I can find. Every rapper sounds like his own person to me if they're unique. So you have something unique about you. But on House of Pain, I, I noticed you changed the style. It was like, um, Everlast, that's my name. You, it was like a little bit less wordy. It was like more just pieces, but it was the confidence you had on those records. How did you get from that to that? In, in the style, you know what I mean? Well, in 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 the early record, like syndication, I was just trying to be Rakim, like that smoothie, mm. in my own way. I wasn't trying yeah. to yeah, 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 duplicate him, but like I, that was the all, M all, uh, end all be all to me at that point. Rakim and, and, and Chris. It was, <laughs> it, they were so big at the time, yeah, yeah. they were so big. But the, the entire style change is sitting at this table mm. and why it happened. I heard these guys' first record. Now, me and Muggs had known each other from the syndicate. Like, 783 came this close to being on the same record as mm -hmm. me, but then got their own record album, like an album deal at Geffen. And didn't you guys all live in that apartment? I did, not but I was oh. I was around I, as much uh, as yeah. I could figure out how to be. You know yeah, because I mean? Ice T was there, Muggs lived there. Yeah. Yeah. Everybody lived at the off one Kings, and off, off Kingsley. You know what I'm talking about? Hollywood, off yeah. Hollywood Boulevard? Off yeah. Kingsley, yeah. And, uh, and Van Ness, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, but then. Hanging out one one day, Muggs and Lethal were seeing girls that were roommates, and we all decided to go to some 
uh, reggae fest at you know the reggae fest at, at the Greek mm -hmm. that happened yeah. there, oh, yeah, 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 whatever yeah. it was called, not yeah. Sunsplash, but you know it was probably something like that. Yeah. And uh, I met this man, and we were all hanging out, and we went back to these girls' apartment, and they start playing songs off of the first Cypress album. I mean, a good six months before it's yeah. ever going to see wow. the light of day. And all and <clears throat> all I could hear was Public Enemy. Uh, yeah. uh, Ultra magnetic right, and right. some wild ass shit. I have some even little thought bit of wild yet. style, a little you know bit. I mean? yeah, yeah, yeah. Like sure. everything that ever made like me crazy for hip hop, for sure, like, just showed up on a tape. <laughs> wow. And we were like, whoa. And then we got really, really high, and <laughs> beats got played, and we started rapping, and just the cadence just kind of. I, 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 I followed into, into it Be in Real's kind of. There's a lot of B real in there. Yeah, you know what I mean. But 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 B real, Devon Styler, Rock him, for sure. KRS One, for sure. No, for sure. For sure. For yeah. sure. Legends. You think it's that? You think it's the sound of Muggs' sound that got you into like that? You fell into like because it seemed like it's you a found certain yourself, pocket. It's you found yourself in that music. Well, he somehow. hit the certain pocket between yeah. Bomb Squad, the SD50 sound, yeah. and the um, the, what's the other guys on the Ma and Molly Mall? Yeah. yeah, like he found. The perfect spot between all of that stuff. Yeah, I, that, and that I, when to me, it's it's so slept on and uncredited it's, it's for like being a, some of the greatest. It's, it's like a certain brand music of music ever created in hip hop. It's it's a, it's, it's it's a certain brand of hip hop, right? That he makes, and when you could snap into that pocket, it's special. And I gotta say, Everlast snapped into that mug's pocket. Uh, son Doobie and obviously Sen and myself, you know, and it's very understated, like he said, like, you know, he don't get enough flowers for that, but it, I think it, like his style makes you flow a certain way. You ain't gonna rap or write a song like you would on, on another beat to his shit. <laughs> and I like Monk shit because it's not like radio shit. Not so at that not, time. It doesn't put you in the zone of trying to make a radio song. It's just about making a song. Oh, you're just like sober, so you're getting away with that. He gets yeah, that. yeah, <laughs> like, I, I get away. Oh, okay. Yo, no, that, but I want to tell you, there's a song that you guys have on on the House of Pain album, the the, the first album that is you and Be Real. I think it's like the second or third song on mm -hmm. it, right? And and when I listened to that song, it, it sounded like you, I, for me, I think that you caught Muggs at the right time because he had just finished the Cypress and he that that stop that he was in he a was, flow. He That's was my favorite flow, drum break of all caught, time. And you uh, caught him way. right at the because some of those songs sound like Cypress would have uh, would have been Black Sunday my records point, or whatever. You know what I mean? Because so, because uh, also though, I had been listening to Cypress Hill for six months while nobody else had right, listened right, to them right. at all yet. Yeah. You know what I mean? So. It just I I I I don't front. I come from an era where like you know you give flowers to, like I divine style. I'm the son of divine styler, sure. and, What's up? and What's I'm a pupil of be real. Right. Yeah, you know I mean it's that's that crazy. simple. That's crazy. It's incredible music, man. That's just disciple. That, that the first album is so good, man. Disciple, disciple. I'll take. It. Yo, E, I was gonna <clears> ask you, what's up with um divine styler? He's he works at my studio every day. You gotta pop, pull up. Wow, I love that's my, still my, my best friend. That joint one. he had, I still play that to yeah, the it, 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 It's crazy how like you he know, did some things people still ain't figured out yet. Not yet, you bro. I mean? Not even I, close. Yeah, he's 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 on point with his shit, man. I gotta say, man, I always love. He's, his he's style. alien like is, in a lot of is. ways. You man. gotta be. He is. He's like Andre 3000. Like he is before. jazz of hip hop. Like oh, I no sure. disrespect to Andre 3000, but Divine Styler, yeah. if there is jazz Richard. of hip hop. That's it. He's he's you know it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and not for nothing. He's Coltrane. And not for nothing. His bars too are like ridiculous. He was just ahead of his time. I think he anybody was just can so still ahead. go hear the War go War Porn listen. Industries yeah. album. <laughs> it's free. Yeah. Warpornindustries.com. Yeah, man. It's that's free. We couldn't clear any of the samples. Wow, we man. just gave it away. I think that's I think that's dope though. Like when artists on that on 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 the level that we've been able to to get on, like can say, "All right, you know what? This shit is too dope for it not to be out there." Yes, I know. I dropped another one, and I've been drinking. So leave me alone. God damn it! <laughs> God uh, damn it. To to be dropping albums that were just like straight giving people. Like here, experience this. Not getting hung up on the fact that, oh man, we couldn't clear this sample. We gotta scrap this album. Because there's no real way to like replicate the songs that gave you that vibe to create these particular songs. So you gotta just 
throw caution to the wind. Okay, it's a mixtape. Mix Have it for free. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? But those albums that you did that with, your bars, like, combined, like, everybody that worked on those projects, you guys, like, killed that shit. I mean, again, I put myself in the room with with Sick Jack, Divine Styler, and Be Real. All right. Big Daddy Kane's on that record. Right. Wow. Um, yeah. You know, uh, Raka for my, you know, we everybody to get, you know, there's no like everybody we there's no light days with, yeah. at, at the gym when you're no, working no. like that, you no, know what I no. mean? And that's the only way I can rap anymore. I don't, I can only rap when I'm in the room with cats, and it's not even about being better or anything. I want to be inspired by what they're yeah. doing. I, I want them to make me like, wow. I like, want to ask you this. I got to find those bars that make I mean, that, me that, that reminds me like like big pun me. when he used to do the, the 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 party joints with a bunch of people he was like i, I could never be the weakest link no I gotta be the you know at least so pun used to almost knock everybody out the box <laughs> you know? yeah i mean you gotta have that mentality <clears throat> exactly you gotta have that shit um what was i gonna ask you right now i was gonna ask you something specific um fuck what was it damn all right, I'm I'm good now. We're what's good. Up, what's We're, up with Lethal and Danny Boy? Still still stay in touch uh, with them? Or? Not much, man. Right. Not very much, you know. I'm just it's it's you know it's one of them things. No Those doubt. guys live where they live. I do what I do. Everlast, let me ask you. I want to. love. I want to ask you about a, a a jump around. How come that song didn't have Danny Boy on it? How come it was just just you rapped on the song? Because. That was actually just because the first demo session I went over to Muggs' spot over in Bell Gardens. It's wow. just me and him and the drum machines, and I think we did he played that jump around. In Bell Gardens, you heard that? It, he, you got to understand what happened, though. He, and like People will say wow. things like, oh, Cypress passed on it, Ice Cube passed on it. But what they passed on was ching 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 ching. It wasn't. It wasn't. It was dope. It was a groove. It was like a groove, and and like Muggs threw it on. And it was ching ching ching, and I wrote. I was I was really on some fucking uh, 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 um, like uh, dance hall kind of yeah for stuff sure. at the moment. For so sure. I, at one point I said, you know, in a rhyme, you know, jump around if you love freedom. You know, did some shop up, jump around if you love culture. And Muggs was like there, and he was like, hold up, he had just come off the first road trip with y'all, which was with leaders of the new school. And he was like, don't. He was like, don't do, he's like, take that. He's like, just say jump. He's like, in fact, say jump around. And I was like, okay, cool. And he's like, then we're going to say jump, 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 jump. He's like, I just saw this out on the road. This is going to kill. <laughs> he literally told me that. I was like, cool. Right. He was right on. The hook's him. He the was hook, right on. Jump around hook. He was like, put this together. But it was also because he, I must have reminded him because of the jump around, if you're like, right. free time kind of thing. But the only song B has ever gotten away from him. It's, it's it's it. it but here's but, the, here's but like, but it's like you're right. You're right. You're it, 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 it right though. You explained it right. But it's like he said when I got it, it didn't have all the yeah. bells and whistles, and I didn't have an it idea. Didn't, it didn't. Yeah. It it was cool. It was yeah. cool. It I was, I wrote the verses. They were on there. It was cool. It was a demo, and then mug starts scratching. But when you hear the shit. Eh! when you heard that, when you said, "Oh shit!" And, oh yeah, and it that's didn't the have one that he dropped. Part. It didn't he dropped that in here, and that happens to be. Off of a Divine Styler record, by the wow. way. Wow. That's where he was wow. scratched. So that got bizarre because for me, it was like this big, this circle. It's a circle, yeah. It was like, wow, this is like some sacred geometry hey. stuff going hey. on in wow. weird that, ways. That was the sound. That was a very heavy acid hey, era you know for what? me, too. That, that sound was like the 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 it's when we all stepped back and went like, that's hey, no, 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 but check what it out. What that, that's, what, that's good. What we share in common in a sound like that is like insane in the brain that little eep, that that little high pitched thing big difference those two sounds like for some reason like put that those two songs together now i, I don't mean the linkage but i'm saying like in the overall yeah, the style that's foundation the style. of the song yeah it's those the exclamation last... point yes yeah. that says yeah. Fuck yeah. Those yeah, little sure. sounds they're so important man hey, i always so said that did. i always said exactly. that man. hey check this out so like Every time we end our show, we tribute you with with the uh, jump around, and you know this. I see it. Seen you've seen it. I like it. And 
I got to say, because I tell it like this before. I sell- Throw me a few G's a night, brother. I'll just I'll come out there and just wait in the back of the bus every night. Hey, listen, listen. For that. Uh, listen, hold up. I, it's my I turn. Wa- I want to tell you. Can, I got to do my I, I want to tell eight, you. Eight and a half minutes. I want to tell you how I sell it, though, because it's facts, B, like Psycho says over here. Right? It's facts, B. Facts. Um, it's the most explosive song or one top three explosive songs in hip hop. I don't care what you put next to it. No song gets a pop That's like facts. this. That's facts. Right? And this, I've tested it in two bands and my solo shit, so I know, right? All around the and world. We, and, you, and listen, if you want to continue to have a good show, you don't put that song in the middle. <laughs> and, There's nowhere else to go. You better put this shit at the end because it's gonna you're shut going to shut down. Home. You're going home. Yes, you're shutting it down after that song. So this is, this is how, listen. From Cyprus to Prophets of Rage, my own shit. We'll play it at the end. And it doesn't matter where you are, what type of festival, whether it's mixed genre, hip hop, or just metal, because you know we play these, right? It will get everybody and their motherfucking mama and grandmama and every ancestor up in the fucking spot front two back and listen you you know the trick we do we make them squat down we make them work for this feeling and we tell them this is the most powerful most impactful hip-hop song ever made when it drops you're gonna feel it and then oh my god it's over it's over how does it feel to have the most explosive song in hip-hop it's 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 Louie Louie at this point, you know what I mean? Mm. It's it's kind of belongs to a, an age and an era. I'm f- I, it's changed my life. I will forever cherish it. I consider it the world's except for the checks. <laughs> the, um, right. <laughs> the rest of it I, I share with the world. I got lucky. We all connected and hit on that. And it's happened to all of us because we're here several times in our lives where we've done something that we knew was magical. And, and, you know, I can only just on that level be grateful again to be a son of Divine Styler and a disciple of Mr. Uh, Louis B. Real Freeze, Dr. Green Thumb. Yo, you, you know what else I like of the of the jump around? The remix, Pete Rock. Oh, Pete Rock. It remix. might be one of my favorite remixes oh, yeah. ever. Stupid. Yeah, that was like, a stupid I got to tell y'all the story about this. Um, they, you know, not too long ago, they started doing like the, a bunch of like, you know, throwback, mm-hmm. like a bunch of really good. They, you know, they have one in Brooklyn with the Jungle Brothers and all these yeah. people on it. Pete Rock, CL Smooth did it. And then we did a set and then Red Man and or Mob Deep and then Red Man and Method Man. Right? Damn, that's hard. It was a good it was a good. That's thing. hard, man. My favorite shit was seeing the Jungle Brothers. Oh, that's you know, a, I, no. I got yeah, to see no. them. They were the I mean, they were the shit, man. Yeah. Uh, so I me and Pete Rock are talking after his set and like he's, you know, Chilling and and we're backstage in our dressing room smoking. Love. I'm mm-hmm. like, yo, we're gonna we'll throw the remix on and dude, you come out and spit your your you know whatever eight Oof. eight or twelve whatever it was. He was like, cool, all right, cool. So after the second verse, Lethal boom, throws into the bum 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 bum, and I literally throw like a not just flowers, <laughs> like I mean like. Every flower in the building. I'm, ladies and gentlemen, this is one of the greatest remixes ever in the history of hip hop. I gotta tell y'all, this is my personal favorite. And I'm saying, ladies and gentlemen, I bring out Mr. Pete Rock. Oh. And, I'm, and I'm looking right over here, and he's just dancing kind of on the side of stage, like, <laughs> like high out of his fucking mind, apparently. <laughs> and I'm like, I give it like eight bars, and then I just Come kick on. it in my verse and fucking do the shit. And I'm like, that was the most bizarre shit ever. Like, like this was fully discussed right before wow, our set. That's crazy. And our set, the high. sets for these kind of things were like the long sets were 20 minutes. Like the headliners right, right, did 20 right, minutes. Right. There was like 14 sets of bands playing on these throwback whatever. Wow. Right? This was at the Barclays. I came off the stage. I was like, what the fuck, bro? And he's like, dude, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I was like, dude, I'm looking dead at you. <laughs> telling 20,000 people, Pete Rock, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, <laughs> I love that guy, though. But, like, 
You, he was uh, never even going to rhyme on that though. He gave you an incredible remix. That's for sure. That's that's. that's and he stuff. and he was known for rhyming on all his stuff. I, I got it. the studio. I think it was Chung King from from Tommy Boy. I was like, I want to go meet dude. You know, I'm mm-hmm. a fan. Yeah. So I, I wonder I, what was the last joint he rapped on where he stopped like doing it consistently. Mm, I don't. I don't know. Because because every song he put out, he was rapping on that. I mean, that's the deal. You you doing that was yeah. the deal. That well, was I the went deal. to the studio and heard the remix, and I was like, "Oh, it's dope." Other beat, and I'm waiting. And the, the <laughs> you're song waiting, they're and waiting. Like, <laughs> and I'm like, "Dude, where's your bar?" Where, I, they, we didn't really call them bars like yeah, that yeah, back yeah. then. Yeah, where's, like, where's the your verse? verse, man? Where's your verse? And he was like, "You want me to rap?" I was like, "Fuck yeah!" Every dude, Pete rap Rock beat comes with a rap. I thought that came with the you know. Hey, listen, part of the package. Let me look at the package again here. But that, that's a good way to get a verse on, though. I'll say this, though. No, he was stoked. He was like, I did it and the next oh, day. It was, it, was, it was the shit. He did sure. a song for us, and we didn't get a verse on it. We, oh, did, uh, we, did, we, we, did, we did the non-verse era Pete Rock yeah. beat. Uh, light, light, him, light him up on the Rise Up, up yeah. album. Yeah. Everlast, I, I want to go back to Jump Around and ask you something else, man. Please. At the end of the song, I oh. always wanted to understand how this worked out. So Cypress was signed by Joe the Butcher. Mm-hmm. And actively and, at the time, right? Actively. Absolutely, absolutely. This is the first album, you know what I mean? And and um, and Joe the Butcher, for people that don't know, that he owned, he was a part owner of the Rough House a label that Cypress was on, but but Joe the Butcher had and, done and a mix engineer, I and a mix engineer, yeah, yeah. and Joe the Butcher before that, he, I mean, we knew him because like I he, had read his name on hip hop records, yeah, for before, sure. You know, before a, yeah, I, he, he was mixing a lot of the stuff on the East Coast, but he did the mix for Mentirosa. That's how we brought Joe. That, out I here. might have seen that name. Yeah, you know. That, so Joe did the original, the mix for Mentirosa. That's not the album version, though. You one you hear on the radio is actually a mix by Joe the Butcher. But I always wanted to ask you on because you diss him at the end of House uh, of Jump Around, and I was wondering how how Mugs did, how Mugs stayed okay with or how did he Mugs feel about had it? no fucking issue with it at all. He let it go. He huh? knew what happened. Like you know, he, he we were shown to Joe first. Mm. And he offered us a trash deal when Cypress was popping mm. and Muggs was walking in with a, oh, another a record we all another suspected hit. <laughs> yeah. was going to do well. Yeah. You know what I mean? How well or how long? Becoming Louie Louie, who the right. fuck could have known that? Right, right. You know what I mean? But we knew you had something. this is going to pop off this summer. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? And, they, and they were hot already. So it was like. So he offered us a really awful deal that I didn't even really see. Muggs was like, no, we don't even bother thinking about it you know what i mean i was basically signed the mugs at the time but mm. a, a good deal between us right um so i was just like he was like nah fuck that and, and then you guys hit the road and he kind of actually tossed me a tape and said do what you can do with it man and a, a key dude in that early part was a dude named paul stewart paul stewart yeah, yeah. he paul sent DJP. our demos around to a lot of people and uh, we had a few offers from a few people. We had more money offers than what Tommy Boy was offering us, but as a group, we kind of knew Tommy Boy meant something more. It was like the only thing that might have ch- trumped that, for lack of a better word in this era, yeah. would have been a Def Jam, a Def Jam offer, or something. You know what I mean? But Tommy, but Tommy Boy, Boy was up there in that. In that yeah, Tommy I mean, Boy had sure. it was. For we sure. saw that we were like, yeah, That's we was like African Bambada. We, we for sure. You know, <laughs> I mean, they had heat back then. It was all that was. It was all it, they were in the streets. Yeah, sure. yeah. they had Latifah, De La. Yeah. Um, who else? Naughty. Naughty. Like, and then like we pulled in there and we're like, yeah, we're with it. And and the funny thing was is like they called us and and uh, i'll tell you the, the key thing for me was monica lynch the, yeah the, salute she to monica showed up lynch. the next day in la some, like not summoned us but i invited us to whatever hotel it was mondrian or whatever it wasn't even on some no, fly impressive it was just like sit down like yo this record's crazy you know we could make this record crazier and we decided to sign with them i remember that record that label charisma with the monks uh, oh, with yeah, the yeah, break yeah. beats yeah like they offered us a lot more money but we knew that was like it's not gonna mean the same thing it's not uh, gonna, credibility came with tommy boy to a certain degree yeah you know what i mean for and sure that, for sure yes, and they don't I, fail i swear to god yeah. we were in new york two days later and that record was coming out of cars like four days later wow like i remember going to um rex's you remember rex's yeah. 
I thought it was Nels, Dante Ross actually correct me recently, but it was Rex's and there's a second floor and I, I heard it in the first time in a club and they started playing crisscross and like <laughs> pulled it off and then threw jump around. I thought the floor was gonna fall out. Wow. I was man. like, wow, this is, this, is, this is crazier than I thought. That's crazy. But like that's, that was Tommy boy at that point, just taking it and running. They, 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 the, they started that whole sticker shit on every block, dude. You couldn't go anywhere in New York without seeing a Naughty by Nature and a, and a House of Pain sticker. I mean, you know, you know what else blew the House of Pain up? The video. The video was nuts too. Uh, yeah. The St. Patty's uh, parade. Oh, yeah. we, people, we wilded yeah, out. Yo, people, people. There was getting, no permits for that. People getting snuffed. Oh, Pat, <laughs> niggas getting snuffed. They was just oh, walking it was, around. It was crazy. Uh, Dave Perez. Yeah, shout shady, out. Shady. He, did, he had yeah. done Killer Man. That's yeah. how we connected. We were like, yo, that's wow. he did. Yeah. The, he heard we rocked. He, with he, the he had a good run, Shady no, Man. Yeah, he, he did it for a while. He did. Uh, punk, didn't he do punks jump up to get beat down too? I think he did that too. Yeah, he did a bunch of that era. He was like, he was the man hard in New York on the East Side for sure for directing hip hop videos. Those those that was a fun thorough ones. Yeah, we literally just woke up, started drinking, and went to the St. Patty's Day Parade and started jumping in until they threw us out. Hey, listen, we go back. Let's jump back I, 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 I'll, I'll like, tell you what, an awesome video is the exclamation point to the vibe. If you got the right video to the, to the right song, man, it's a win-win. Uh, speaking of wins, win a free pair of tickets uh, or a free pair of three-day passes to Cali Vibe Fest in Long Beach. $800 value for free. Look at the top of the pin. Chat by Be Real TV to see the rules to enter your chance for your chance to win a free pair of three day passes to Cali Vibes Fest. I right? featuring slightly stu stupid Snoop Dogg, Warren G, Cypress Hill, and many others. Stay up on the dates with the, uh, the festival and lineup details. Download Cali Vibes app at www.calivibesfest.com. Remember to super chats in before 3 40 p.m. Uh, PST, Pacific Standard Time. That's Cali Vibes ticket giveaway. I right. Yes, we got those. And salute to the winners from yesterday and all that. Hey, did y'all see? I saw this shit yesterday on the news. California's considering allowing cannabis cafes much like how Amsterdam used to be. And how there's two things, right? California's going to consider allowing the drinks. I mean, non-alcoholic bed beverages and food and smoking in a cafe setting like Amsterdam used to be. The flip side, Amsterdam is no lo longer allowing cannabis use on in the red light district area where the cafes are. That but you can crazy. still shoot heroin with a hooker, right? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, okay, I'm good. We're good. We're good. I mean, God. that's the crazy. It's it's a crazy flip because we <laughs> oh, we man, we you can like do that. cocaine with like an arms dealer. Right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah, you could do all that. But that's crazy because like you know the whole inspiration was in Amsterdam. Like the way they had the cafes, you go buy your cannabis at the cafe and consume it there and have a drink, a smoke, whatever. And now we're we're having we're we're about to have something. We like ruined that. it for them. Well, we made it we we made it crazier to the max here, but I mean it shouldn't have like fucked them up. That I think they ruined it for themselves. They ruined it yeah. for themselves. I don't. I don't just know. like Californians, we don't need California to give us our permission to do what we want. True, it's crazy talk, and all they, the time they jumped through hoops for years. <laughs> like I, I remember yeah. talking to some of the homies that own shops, and they're like, yeah. "You can only have this much in the shop, and if you get caught with more, you had to like have the guys floating around the yeah. shop all the time." Yeah, like to just crazy. drop in with enough to yeah. keep it. What's crazy is that they could sell it, but they they weren't allowed to buy it. And the way they had bought it, it was like a crazy process so that they don't get tapped. And then you had to only be carrying so much so many grams in the store if if you got caught out wild. there on it a random wild. i mean we how many shops did we see mm -hmm. while we were sitting at the greenhouse including them come in there oh like, yeah yeah we've questions. seen them a few times yeah it's crazy yeah. The, like they that's regulate. my favorite spot just because of that hotel right next door er, every, the sofa that's hotel, my spot. Yeah. but you're that's saying that spot. here here they they won't allow you to have alcohol but you can have a smoke thing that's what you're saying yeah they're, or, the, they're, food 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 and and non-alcoholic non-alcoholic but coffee. you can have marijuana yeah dr. Green, hold up coffee. hold up coffees teas um, that, dr. Green, non -alcohol, just non-alcoholic non-alcoholic okay, beverages. okay. Let's go. I love it. 
Yeah. Yeah, because the alcoholic won't bring so a bottle and leave them, it in the car. They're gonna tax them to death too. So. Well, I don't think they'll ever. <laughs> I, I don't think they'll ever really allow cannabis and and alcohol to be sold in the same place because like, they hate each other. They hate yeah, each other so much for no God reason. Damn it. <laughs> so let's see how that goes. That sounds interesting. You know. I mean, I'd rather alcohol not be sold. Me there too. Because I'm fine sometimes. With that. Yeah. Sometimes motherfuckers How get often too is lit. somebody a real asshole after smoking eight joints? Well, if they've dr- if and they've having had a steak, I'm not asking that part and having yet. Having a steak, <laughs> you're right. I'm not asking None. that part yet. Zero, zero, right? Zero. I mean, maybe they fall asleep or eat too much, and he was an asshole. They don't want no smoke. They don't want. They they've smoked too much. They don't want any smoke. Yeah, but after eight tequila shots, er, oh yeah, almost you everybody. All the smoke. Sure almost want. everybody's ready. To you get ready for the smoke on eight shots for sure. Bring it. <laughs> Ah uh, yeah, no, but that's the point, right? Like if you if you have one of these cafes, and it's the same in Amsterdam. I mean, they used to have alcohol in the cafes when we were going there early in the '90s, but they eventually even take, then maybe a beer. Yeah, maybe a beer, not hard alcohol, but like eventually they take alcohol and separate it, and now you cannot get alcohol in a cafe. You can get cannabis and the hash and. All those things. Alcohol, you got to go to the bar over here across the channel or hey, the canal, I should say. Hey, before things were like, you know, open, open, I remember this dude and me meeting at a, I don't even know where, I'll, you know, and I'll swear to that on a lie detector. Yeah. Where somebody brought a bunch of concert passes. Do you remember this stuff? They were laminates. Laminates. Oh, yeah, yeah. With the, that was when we were getting our giggle yeah, stick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. First oh, giggle yeah. no, stick rap. That was, a, that was a ways back. Oh, yeah. That was fun. That was 2000 something, 2000, something. early yep. 2000s. Something. That was great. But like, cut that motherfucker open, big slabs. Of just yeah, I, I remember some I remember seeing them Good there. Ash I remember wow. seeing them there that year. We were, made joints. Is that what a giggle stick? We made yeah. joints yeah, yeah. directly yeah. out of that. Yeah, yeah. 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 No, I remember seeing wow. it when we were there. <laughs> I remember seeing it when we were there that year, and then you brought them back. Like it was when nothing. You came back. With us, yeah. When you straight up brought think, them back, I think I brought a couple back, and I didn't even remember till yeah. I got them back, and I was like, "Oh, these are those things." Yeah, damn. damn, it was awesome. Smoke. Those, yeah, and that just dawned on me because he's talking ass Amsterdam. Those were good. Day. Those were good. Uh, those were they fucking work. I some. Thi- I'm gonna dig them up. I got some photos of this dude had rolled one like <laughs> coned out. We we oh, come man. from blessed At least times. An ounce. The, the, there was. I don't know if it's been blessed like that since those days. No. You know what I mean? Nah, like, in some ways, yes. But, you know, like like I'm saying, oh, we don't need permission to, you know, have a place where we can all go smoke. You know, well, But we all could have got locked up for that. Sure. All the alcoholics yeah. and drinkers, though, they all got bars <laughs> everywhere. Yeah. And, and everyone that's consumed cannabis did it together. We all got together anyway. We need a place, too. Yeah, yeah. Like, but we already had places. Long, you know, we got our, we got each other all the time. Yeah, that's how but, it's always been. Well, yeah, we do. That that is. Kind, real. I think that's kind well, of what uh, my point was in an indirect way. Yeah, and you succinctly. Same team brought same that team. out. Same there team. There we go. <laughs> Whoever comes but that was still the first time I ever saw some shit like that. Yeah, you just cut open a laminate and there's like a slab. A- Am- you know what's crazy is that Amsterdam taught us a lot, yet we got ahead of them. Like yeah. we've we've gotten ahead of them, and yeah. that's that's the real the reality of it. And and they don't want it anymore. Like they're officials there. It's not that the people don't want it. And and I would imagine even some of the people, because they're trying to doing their version of gentrification in in some of these parts. And some of these folks moving into where those canal areas are don't want the smoke. You know what I mean? So that's why they're. Well, I think it's just their first yeah. step into what they really don't want there. Which is tourists, the, the prostitution that too <laughs> at street level. Well, no, they're they're <laughs> nah, they well, like all that money they made from it. They're yeah. acting like they didn't make no money. No, but he's talking about like people buying like condos there now, like yeah. gentrifying the fuck out of the place. Sure, sure. I'm sure it's, if, it's, if it's, both it's things both, weren't though. there, the smoke was wouldn't be think, as offensive. I, I think the weeds first. It's the hookers easier after. to be first, and the now hook- it's like, oh, we got rid of that. Let's do the what we weed do. first. The hookers after. Hey. Hooker's the oldest business in the book. It hey. ain't going nowhere. Hey, yeah, you're probably never. right about that. They're just gonna tuck them away. <laughs> yeah, it ain't ever yeah. going nowhere. Yeah, I think it's whoever comes. I up. mean, in the digital age, isn't it kind of weird at this point? 
to be lighting up a broad under red shit just to <laughs> make a point that she's a hooker. It's like, I, 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 yeah, I looked her up on yeah, fucking, for sure, for sure. <laughs> whatever it is. It's moved on online. Well, we We've confirmed say? that part. What were you going to yeah. say, Julio? I was going to say, whoever comes up with the right restaurant, with the right food, and the right combination, sort of like what the what the what the rainbow was when we used yeah. to go there. Because I used to love to smoke a joint and eat their food. They're so yep. their food was so good. So yeah. great time. whoever comes up with the right combination is gonna do really good. It's gonna be it's me. Gonna win. It's gonna win. If they have the right yeah. the right flour and the right situation and the right food, it's out of here, bro. Yeah. It's out of here. Cause it, it goes hand in hand. You know I, what I mean? I would imagine everybody's apply like anyone that can is applying for that license. Mm -hmm. I think we could do that over and over. That ain't the, like the ability to do that already exists. It's the allowance. We're all waiting for our permission. The permission, yeah. Like, the, come on. It, to buy the license for that. <laughs> yeah. I'm just saying, you know, we come from a time, a very blessed time, where we all sat and pushed the envelope, like you said. You know what I mean? We, we went and did our thing. And we, didn't, we weren't asking for permission. We just went and did it. It was a little scary to have an ounce of weed in your pocket. It was. Sure. <laughs> right? Yeah. Oh, we yeah. still did it. You were My gambling. Point. You were gambling. I'm not, am, I jo am I no, joking? Like, these youngsters joking. would be like, ha, 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 ha. You might as well have been carrying a weapon. You you were going to catch a charge. Catching a charge for that. It's How many times did we get lucky and officers just tell us, dump it out and step on it yep. so they can like, feel good about it? I had to do that. You know I just told oh, a story the other day. Man. I had to do that in front of a girl. Man. They gave me dirty. I'll tell you what. I'll, I'll get, tell you, we I, got pulled over yes. when pigs was an actual half a hit on the underground. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh, yeah. we oh, got, no. Hey, listen. In the it was, typhoon. It was a rainy day typhoon. In, in his typhoon because we both had typhoons, but we were rolling his. I think I he was, were you driving or was I driving? No, I was driving. He was driving, and he was driving fast in the rain. It's a typhoon, my it's man. It's a typhoon. <laughs> if anybody I, listen, knows, don't know. If not, Google that shit. I, I would have been driving the and same way. And in the way. rain, it actually handled better than a Ferrari. Yeah. Look it up. <laughs> yeah, no, no. It was a fast car off the nice, line. Yeah. Anyway, um... They see us driving Ask fast. Rick Rubin. They see us driving fast. They pull us over. Boom. We got weed and a gun. Don't. And <laughs> they stole my gun, they, by the way. They take his gun. They stole tell, it. Fuck. Yes. They didn't charge a, me. They didn't find me or ticket me. It's a registered gun. gun. Disappeared. They took the strap. It's a registered strap. Hey, and it's a registered gun. It was a good one, too. Wow. It was a good Cute. One. Way different it was time. A 380. Then, in your pocket in the club shit. Then they find the weed. And then they make a step on it right there, like you know, like make sure we 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 stomp it out and scrape it like second class citizens. And then and then they recognize who we are and like totally relished that they took the gun and the weed from us. What and, the fuck? Yeah, they, were like, the they didn't even give. I don't even think they gave them a ticket for the speed. Nah, they framed that shit. They framed the gun. Oh man, that's crazy. And the kicker to all of that was, <laughs> and we always we always kid about this was. We was doing that. We were dedicated to doing all that stuff at a time where that weed cost more than gold. We were smoking gold. Oh, yeah. Like, just probably burning like, it at up. That, that was at probably that like time? seven bills an ounce right at, there at that back time? then. And that was 92. Yeah. What was gold at 92? 400. Way less than that. 400 yeah. ounce. Yeah. 400, yeah. We were yeah, yeah, look, damn look, near look. 700 OG fucking Kush. ounce of the real oh, OG. Listen, OG Kush on average that went out. Like on the high end, it was like seven hundred dollars, right? But on the lowest end, it was five hundred. Yeah, that and was the friend price. That was yeah, and on on that price, it stood above gold for oh, yeah. I don't know how many years, probably like a good ten, twelve years. Yeah. Before everyone now is producing it, and the price drops. Yeah. And it because, also has seventeen different names and dilutions and. Well, it's no. What it is is that everybody that got their hands on it, like gave it to their homies and their homies gave it to their homies and their homies gave it to theirs and now everybody's comp you know competitive pricing now like oh well i could get homies kush over there for 450 why do i gotta pay five well that guy should yours? have been in idaho and the other guy should have been in wyoming yeah well that's not and what the other guy should have been in <laughs> motherfucking God, denver should have the other guy should have been in seattle should have but that's not how it happened here you know what i mean that, that, or, or should have been the kush that, mafia that's when it dropped and and gold went up above OG Kush, but for a good long run, that bitch reigned but that, supreme. That, that and we early, spent that shit like it wasn't nothing. I wish I would have put all that money into gold, really. That's, all, that's my point. Is oh that my god, we, we were foolish. We put for a fair the, enough into our gold. Yeah, we yeah, risk we risk freedom 
for that for that weed no, over gold. No yeah. doubt. Weed was That's gold. For real. That's for real. Weed was the gold. Don't Searching consume for ascension, it. brother. I mean, come on. It was, you know, we, and let me we, tell you, like back it. then, like the that original beginning of it, no, not a lot of people had it. So if you had it, People was, knew you had it because you smelled it because it was like, oh, oh shit. And they like, thought you were. They didn't you know what the fuck anywhere. that was. And, and they, didn't they know thought what that was. That's man. where the term loud also came from. Oh, that from. was sure. real loud. <laughs> and they thought you were special for it. When I used like, to be oh, the- my God, you got that? How'd you get? Who do you know? That's man. drugs that are hard to hide when, mm-hmm. when in I used plain to, sight. When I used mm-hmm. to be on the radio, um, a lot of artists used to come on. At the, on the nine o'clock bomb, because I would get off at ten with them, so I would go downstairs. You remember Biru? We would go downstairs at ninety two point three. I used to have my truck sitting right there, and I would smoke all these East Coast rappers out. They Atlanta, they even L A. But they had never smoked that. They were like, "What is this?" Like it was so nobody had it. It was a only a handful of people in the beginning that could put their hands on some some straight Kush, some real OG Kush. So in the beginning, that shit was that that was the that was the loud loud bro. The loud. That was the real loud. I yeah. mean, I myself and Be Real were together many times where we put many legendary down rappers that are even legendary smokers th- to this day. That you know, I'll leave it to Be Real yeah. to mention any of these people. <laughs> yeah, but to complete sleep for sure. To where like legendary producers were I mad at Be Real and Everlast for even showing up in the building yep. and doing what we did. It's like, man, we put these guys to like, you know, they were supposed to work. Guys who were writing anthems about <laughs> weed. And then went to sleep. I smoke all the time. Yeah. Okay. Welcome. Hey, it was welcome to, to this day hey, anthems. It, it was it was it was welcome to a soul assassin's chokehold. <laughs> <laughs> no, sponsored really by sponsored by OG Kush. <laughs> nah, for real. Oh that, early, that early OG Kush was so yeah, you, good, man. Yeah, many warnings were given to many people, and many people learned the hard way. Well, me and Kenji warned this one chick one time in in Michigan. Just backstage, oh, Cypress Hill, you got the best weed, huh? I bet I've smoked better weed than you. And <laughs> I'm like, uh, Kenji, go <laughs> fuck them. Let's roll one. And this is at the time of sharing. We didn't even like have like that much for everyone to have their own joints. We just, you know, rolled one and passed it around. A big enough one, like the kind of oh, yeah. the, the kind that Steph is blazing yeah. right now, the right? Juicy too. That now is a person. No, we didn't even have tips then. It was it was Paper pre tips. pre pre. That's what I said. Juicy tip. Yeah. It, oh yeah. So, it was a hey, bunch. Okay. No, you didn't give so, a fuck. You didn't give a fuck. Homie. So <laughs> it so we pass it around, and this chick who had been like stunting on us, trying to you know act like you know our weed wasn't shit. She got better weed and this and that. She takes, I, I tell her right before she hits it, right? Because I don't know which of the homies brought her around with a, a pack of her friends, or whatever. And we tell her, hey, look, this is not the average weed you fuck with. Hit it slow. Don't don't take a big old hit from it, cause I'm telling Try you. Try tell me. And she is like, yeah, right. I not, I pr- what I have is probably better than this. <laughs> and, and she hit that thing like Spicoli, dog, like Jeff Spicoli. Made that shit run and everything. She made it run, and she blew herself out, bro. Like she starts coughing. She starts going fucking. <laughs> You know, having those those cough fit convulsions that people do when they hit the bomb for the first time. And then she gets the cheech freak out. Oh my God, I've never smoked nothing like this before. What did you put in this? I don't ever get this. <laughs> you know, it's just <laughs> You know what I mean? Yes, because I got one, a shared experience. Uh, <laughs> and it's hilarious when you see people do that, but then you're like, hey, wow. I, I, we told, we told uh, our homie that brought her, like, hey, you got to get your friend? Fuck out of here. Every time I've experienced do you, that. Do you remember Brixton? Brixton Academy. <laughs> do you remember like a dude? I, he, he was friend oh, of yeah. somebody within your outer oh, yeah. London crew. Oh, he was our. He talking was our, uh, mad shit about the wig. Oh, oh, oh yeah. Whappity, he, whap, he, whap, he, whap. He, he was our and he guy. smoked it up with us. That's it's right. Our merch guy. It he was our seemed, merch guy. It seemed he was cool. And like, then, like 15, 20 minutes later, we're all looking out the side <laughs> window from two stories up and somebody on a strapped on a so, so, on an ambulance so, thing so, so, so real quick so real quick before we go into submissions we had this tour going on and we had this merch guy and all through the tour he was like oh man when we get to london we're gonna blaze up man because we had been feeding them little weed here and there because they were our merch guys we wanted to look out for them so you know they kept bragging oh man when we get to london we're gonna you know spark the flavors with you <laughs> and this and that and the other and we blaze up with them and within like 40 minutes 
um, they had to like use the dressing rooms that weren't being used because they all had to take naps, right? Like three, four of them were all just napped out in they a were. room. And then we look later on in the <laughs> night, and one of them's getting one of them's getting dolly rolled out. <laughs> one of them's getting dolly rolled out like Hannibal Lecter, <laughs> like strapped up because he is just done. <laughs> Yeah. Oh my God! That was <laughs> all right. Saying those words, you were saying like, "What was put in that? <laughs> what Where was? Oh my God! What did you put in? What did you put in that? I never smoked anything like that. I give prop to him. <laughs> 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 I give props to everybody in the UK because all the times that I was dependent oh upon God. their weed, they at least always came with better than most of uh, most other people's stuff. It was never True what that. we had, True but that. it was better than most others. True that. I'll yeah. tell you what. Yeah. I'll tell you what, they've all stepped up. They they got Cali Definitely. style flavors right now in all these places that used to have boof. So salute to them. All right, it is now time. Let's but go. this was in the days when like these cats brought weed to fucking yeah. what you put in that? Nothing. I'm still smoking it. You're freaking out. Yeah. <laughs> it was fucking hilarious. Salute to the good old days. Time time for some time for submissions. All right, we got a bunch of submissions in today, but before we get into that, I got to let everybody know you got to send your submissions to Be Real TV Contest, no more S at the end at gmail.com. So please send your uh, submissions and any information that you want to send us to Be Real TV Contest. At gmail.com. What you want to flip it up? Thank make you. it all hard for him. No S. No I'll S. I'll have to explain that later. Drop the S. And we got a smokestack Mac up in here saying, saw your saw you guys talking about bull burgers the other day. I made my I made one myself with a pretzel bun. Ooh. See, now I would have this, but like, you know, Bobo would not because it's dripping. Yoki. You don't yeah. like the yolk. That's how the egg is supposed to be when you put it on shit, though. Oh, yeah. I, I yeah. feel, yeah, I, I'm like one where when you go to have it over be, like, a little Holland more. and Germany with the schnitzel when they put the egg on top, if it, yeah. it's got to do that. Bobo doesn't it's like, like gravy. It. That's ba- the Bobo doesn't, <laughs> gravy. That's baby, the Bobo doesn't eat. Um, sunny side. I mean, if you're murder, if you're gonna get, murder the, you know, the, the, the thing, oh. eat the fucking. All the good parts. You know, well, you know, well, at the end, when when you grab that toast and you just what? clean it with like, the butter yeah. mixed with it. Oh, oh listen, mm-hmm. I will eat it this way. <laughs> I'm just saying that Bobo would have to take the egg out because he he ain't trying to have that egg. In well, it. But I love this. I would do this. Of egg course, down with that too. Okay, Bobo the, needs the bacon to be, could uh, be the, reprogrammed. The, the 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 bacon could be slightly crispier, slight just a, a touch, but uh, other than that's that, that's good for me. It's it's in it's in the neighborhood. It's in the neighborhood. <laughs> yeah, 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 it's yeah. right there. It's yeah. not it's I not it. far off. Could be a little brown, more slight. You know, it, a, little... if we were working with a campfire and Armageddon, <laughs> and it's very well done, we're good. <laughs> we're good. Yeah, we're good. Yeah, you're right. We, we'd be good with that, no doubt. Yeah, shout out to Smoke and Fire in Vegas for them breakfast sliders. Yeah. Those were fire. Yeah. Bacon. Mm-hmm. And we got William up in On here the with the Hawaiian little... roll. We got William up in here with a little bit of Colombian chicken sudado oh. with squash and carrots. All right. I like everything here. Also got a little bit of yellow rice and some stir-fried snap peas, broccoli, and cauliflower. Snap peas are really good for you, man. That's good stuff right there. All them veggies right there, man. Oh, yeah. For all that oil. Subscribe to an alkaline <laughs> diet. Is that seed oil? Isn't Oil's that the new thing. enemy of, of mankind? I don't know. I see yeah. It looks tasty. You need that extra good. virgin. Extra I virgin, yeah. I can't eat the broccoli. You you don't use lose with the extra virgin. Uh-uh. No okay. broccoli? Nah. It I, it interferes with one of my fucking heart medications that's kept me alive for, what, 65 years Yeah, now? no broccoli. Like 107. Yeah. You guys realize that. <laughs> no right? brock. You keep that out. But I love the snap uh, peas and yeah, the everything snap else. Peas. Look delicious. You could eat cauliflower, too, yeah? Sure. Or is that the same? Sure, if you smother it in something that I like. Butter. <laughs> yes, butter. <laughs> butter, baby. And butter should... and garlic will basically cover, and hey. True that. Mm. Put anything for real. in there, and I'll probably fuck with it. They're both good for you. <laughs> yes. Bring it. 
And I uh, showed this one last week, B, but I wanted to show you this. We got a RLS up in here saying, I showed this when you were gone, B, but wanted to show you. We got Souls of Mischief celebrating 30 years of their album, yeah. 93 till infinity <laughs> with classic. 93 tour dates. I'll tell you what, there's that's a lot incredible. of classic albums that are celebrating their 30 year oh, run. That's a nice. tour right now. Hey, when they pulling through up. town? When they pulling through town? Let's All year. Look no, at that. No, but I'm saying, where are they pulling through February town? February 26. 26th of February. That's next week. Yep. Yeah. Hey, you, Jungle Brothers were just here in LA yeah. too, man. I'm so yeah. mad I missed them. I, I, missed I, them I couldn't too, see them, man. I wanted to see the Jungle man, Brothers so bad. I, 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 that first record was great, but that second record, oh, on man. Warner Brothers, man. Sh- was that done, done by the forces, done by the of, forces nature. of nature? That was nuts. Yeah. I was there for that album oh, the whole man. time. Oh, you produced man. it all, didn't you? I, I, know, I ain't saying no, nothing. You guys, we was you there. Guys, it, we definitely put a little, little input, though. That is an incredible record. That second one. That's the first one I missed though. on House of nah, Pain was I'm, a beat nuts. I gotta <laughs> give I gotta House give props to Africa because that mother is the man. He's the man. Yeah, salute Love to the, the Jungle, Jungle Brothers. G. JB. If you guys get a chance to go see the Jungle Brothers, go Check see them for sure. Uh, Absolutely, and go see uh, Souls of Mischief celebrating their thirty year as well. Yes, sir. yeah, them too. Pyro the next. The and we got Joe T up in here saying Snacks his cousin on a DoorDash run. <laughs> Looks like he's wow. got a dog. <laughs> yeah, Damn. poodle. He's got a poodle. Oh, that's fucked. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. That's terrible, man. I got a little chihuahua, yeah, man. Yeah, get rid of that. Yo, man, that's, that's terrible. Just, wow. That's, and that's a that's a medium-sized dog. If you live in the canyon area, <laughs> this, this is what you got to worry about when the you red let your little dog hawk. out. The that's California Is that a California red-tailed hawk? I know it's a red-tailed hawk. I don't know if it's an invasive Hawk, it but could be. I don't know. They, that, that's somebody's life right there. Somebody, he eat. just took someone's oh. poodle. I've man. seen many of them hey. go away with a possum or hey, a large a, rat. Hey, that's a sizable fucking poodle right there. Yeah. Yeah. It's at least medium. <laughs> yeah, yeah, look at that. Thing. At like least, that, that's at least serving two. <laughs> <laughs> two, two hawks. Damn. As Callie Blaze would say, two hawks. You got to yeah. imagine that's the owner maybe filming it? I don't know. Nah, the owner would be losing it, man. That's their life flying You're away. right. You're right. That's I'm, devastating, I, I'm horrible man. for thinking. No, that. not that's you. There's a lot of people talking trash. No, I am, because trash. I actually imagine somebody that would film their own dog. Yeah, that'd be awful. <laughs> for what you do you too. do? You try to shoot the hawk, you Hell might yeah. kill your dog. My dog's dead anyway. Knowing that, knowing oh, that no, your that's, dog's well, going to die the, anyway. That's the last of the Mohican shit. I'm shooting my dog. That's the Fuck the hawk. Yo, that's... Hey, I'm going to shoot him. I'm not letting So he doesn't feel nothing. Yeah, he's done. And maybe... Maybe yeah. I get both of y'all. I don't know, but True that. you know the worst part is no that. last of the Mohicans guys here, huh? The worst part for that little puppy <laughs> when the is. English soldier guy kind of sacrifices himself to the Indians and the, <laughs> the Daniel Day Lewis guy just shoots him while he's burning alive. Oh yeah, that's the mercy. Oh, come on, that's it's called, a mercy kill. That's man. called mercy kill. What were you gonna say, Steph? I'm just gonna say if you have the opportunity to follow the bird, you have a chance of of saving your dog. You still. could if the dog, if, as long as the dog stays in flight. It's safe. It's when the bird drops the dog that the dog is done. Right. Not usually. They squeeze with their talons. Yeah, Don't yeah, forget. Yeah, dead already. Yeah, but they do that. Was a, that but was a formidable, formidable hawk. Yeah, yeah. that's a big ass hawk. But I, it would, it, it, it couldn't kill that dog till it lands. Yeah, it has, I think to, that was it has to get it somewhere and, and attack it. If it drops it, it's done. It's done. I'll tell you a crazy thing: is we were driving across Canada, <clears throat> and we were on some small little highway, and we were. Everybody was going really slow for some reason. It was like a two-laner. And we pull up, and there's a golden eagle sitting on top of like a fairly young deer. Wow. This thing was like this four feet tall. He's right. He's sitting just with its wings on top of the thing. Like, having lunch. And like we cruised by, my window was down, and my, my keyboard player, Brian, will testify to this. We both were just looking at it, and it dead eye made connections with us. And it was like, what? Yeah. <laughs> wow. It was like fuck out of here. I never seen nothing like that in my life. Man. That's crazy. That bird scared me. That was a dinosaur. Damn, because oh, it was crazy. eating it. It didn't that want was, no. That was about two thirds of, of the that. size hey, of the wow. bird. I'll, I'll tell you what. The other day I saw I saw this, uh, and, and we'll move on after this. But um, that was horrible. This, I'm gonna I, dream I, about that tonight. I saw this hawk. You got a little dog. I saw this Keep hawk on leash. I saw this hawk that was kind of big take out a, a, a mid sized wolf. Like it, it, it gouged its eyes with its talons, and then eventually, the wolf, like wow, lays lays its head down because it can't see or whatever, and then, you know, that bird went to town and killed the wolf. It was crazy. That's crazy. If you got an if you got an animal that you care about. 
Take care of that animal. Keep it on the leash. Don't just assume it's safe all the time. If it ain't, if you live in a place that's like got a lot of hawks, yeah, hawks, oh, yeah. owls, spike collar. watch your dogs. Next, hey, owls. Here's what I like though. They can't do shit about it, but a bunch of like hawks are in my area. But in this little kind of divot of the canyon where I'm at, a bunch of crows live there. Big ones. Big ones, and they keep nests. And when those hawks come in the crows go up six eight of them are trying they're trying to kill this thing but the, the sad part is the hawk doesn't do shit except look at them like are you serious yeah they, they just bounce doing off. loops on them but wow. they keep i like them they as dis- an alarm system they distract them yeah, yeah they let me know like hey bring the chihuahua back inside right 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 just because his name is kaiser soze doesn't mean he's <laughs> you know what I mean? yeah. yeah all right take care of your little animals they're at risk <laughs> that's right we got a little new ai art by ant that's nice oh, keep so the gun close good stuff art that's fire big ant big ant up I in like the discord that oh, big playing. ant killing it yeah. he sent me some cool shit not re- not long ago excellent and we got eric up in here saying found these new game minis which i haven't seen before they're not easy to get a funky feel tip in just because it barely seals. Send them to Pedro. <laughs> He's the only one that smokes blunts here. Buy some razor blades. That'll help you out tremendously. You get perfect lines and everything. Yeah, that does help. That's true. As long as I've been smoking, man, I, I still can't do blunts. It's Yo, just I, not I my thing, I was bro. just I thinking that. I do it, dog. I was just thinking that. If I may, I bro. if I may, and... Of <laughs> New Yorker here being, and I learned again, I'm the son of Devon Styler. Mm-hmm. I learned to smoke blunts f- through White Owls and Phillies. Dutchies. To smoke like shitty weed. For sure. Yeah. You rolled up shitty weed, Chocolate. and it, it actually made yep. the weed taste better, believe it or not. For sure. And burn slow. Once the weed surpassed taste in the blunt, I, lo- I no longer... You got out of um, it. Got to go to papers. Yeah, don't insult yeah, I just some didn't good weed. I desire it. Blunt. I was like, oh, the... The less I taste, the more I taste the weed. Um, Phillies and White Owls weren't doing it for me. I'm all backwoods papers. just can't do it. I, I like a nice little rice paper. What's or the one a exhibit paper, does? You know? Where, the napalm bomb? No, what is exhibit? We used to roll when we were on tour. Oh, he the backwoods, the tree bark. Yeah, back yeah, I call yeah, it yeah. tree bark because that's, that's what I call it. Same thing. But you gotta you gotta remember back in the days, you would twist a blunt. But that shit is going to go around the party. Well, that's it's why, because it burns like, slow. And yeah. it was full of some really shitty tasting weed yeah. anyway. Yeah, sure. Everybody got a hit. So it had a little more flavor. <laughs> yeah, no. I, I, Once, I, like, actual Kush yeah. came around. I mean, even indica before Kush, like some nice purple-haired indica. Mm-hmm. Yeah, just any, any Anything, good tasty weed. Some nice you know, tasty purple hairs. Or some, then Kush was just, that was it. Once I met these guys but, in Kush, I, I knew it existed. It was a problem. People love them blunts, though. They won't get away from them. But I would suggest smoke your good weed in paper next. And we got CK Nugs up in here with a little Cheers. organic water made hash. All right. And Callie Blasey oh. saying 73 micron, 120, and 160 micron. Okay. Is that approved by Cocaine Bear? <laughs> <laughs> Damn, that's crazy. What were we going to say, Cali? You no, know, interesting um, combination of microns, but it's good. It's a good blend. It's right. different size heads. The 160, a lot of people don't use, but it has a lot of terpenes, so good job. Word. We got Roddy Rod up in here with a little snake in the house action. Snake in the house? Oh, I saw this. Wow. Come on, look at that this corner up there. What's going on in that roof? This is wild. Like all these snakes? Like, they still try to get a hold of it. <laughs> That's crazy. All right. Blessed to be American. That's right. Word. And we got uh, Sandy sent in another one of her neighbors. She's saying, drunk neighbor punches my living room window at midnight. Oops. What a dick. Oh. What a bitch. <laughs> what the fuck? Wow. And she's saying she also knocks down my plants. Should have came out and kicked the nipples off. She's twisted. Oh, she's, but she's lit. Yeah, yeah she's, she's lit. lit. Holy shit. There might be some. Oh. 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 Go, she's she mad at whatever's going on yeah. inside. It's she, whatever oh, it is. Lit. She Emotions. rolled down a second round to kick over the plant. I'm just saying. I'm not Emotions saying it's good, bad, or out. ugly. I'm just saying she's mad at whatever's going on. She's pissed inside. off. Yeah, she lit. Does she rock a third she's round? She's hearing things that she's not feeling. 
she also just absent-minded with that camera right in her face. Yeah. yeah. Thinking she was getting away with well, it. Maybe somebody was living a better life, and she's mad because better things are happening. Across the way. Well, we know that's what's miserable. happening. Just saying. But those actions that will would... not improve her condition. I don't come out much, so that's the vibe I got. She doesn't like what's going on in there. <laughs> no. She's a runner-up. <laughs> She's a runner-up. <laughs> oh, man. That is Everybody tough. been there. It's all right. She swiped on the same dude or something. I don't know. <laughs> No, maybe. And she's like, I hate your plans. I'm saying, I hate I'm saying, she's she's punching your plans. She's punching the wall, so she's pissed. I don't like your plans. Yeah, that's the first she's round. She's ready to knock somebody's head off. That's the first round. The second round, she's like, you know, plant abuser. If your plant, fuck your plant. All right, next. We got a little street takeover action. Oh boy. Wow! Ow. Like dominoes. Oh, he's gonna just roll off. Yeah, that guy. Better like roll off. Some sort of vest. What? Kind, I didn't know what. Uh, the, is that something that you should be worried about? That vest? No. In particular. <laughs> Got the Hell's Angels. He said, he said no. Could be one percent. Oh. <laughs> he didn't worry about it. He took the fuck off. <laughs> I seen these fools like. I'm out. I was coming home from dinner last night, and this. We had uh, our main street in San Pedro, Gaffey Street. At, at Fifth Street, goes from three lanes to two. Like one of the lane on the right becomes a turn lane. You got to turn. But on this intersection is where we affectionately refer to people pulling the Pedro. People always use that turn lane and come ripping by everybody. You know, making that last minute pass to get out in front. Yep. Well, anyway, these fools. I was I was three cars back from that from the light right there at that intersection. These fools come ripping by on the right. They go ripping around all of us up there. And, you know, we're just cruising. I'm just coming home from dinner. I ain't no hurry. Not even two more blocks later, six-car accident. They're all bailing out of the car, oh, running man. in every direction. <laughs> wow. I was like, damn. Yeah. Oh, my There's a lot of car chases in L.A. right now, bro. There was no chase. These fools were just no. wiling. Oh, they they're took wiling, every, huh? hey, Took man. everybody out two blocks later. I, I, it's like I that tra- scene in Bronx Tale when he's like, let me out of the car. <laughs> hey. And then like three blocks later, they're all dead and on hey, fire. Not, not for nothing. Me and Pedro were coming <laughs> Pretty back. Pretty much. From, we were coming back from San Diego from, from an event we were doing down there. And this dude was ripping on his motorcycle on the freeway coming back. And he was just cutting through cars left and right, mm. just like and and I, I was like, "Damn, Pedro, this dude, this dude's wilding out." And it was like, "Man, he's gonna crash or something." Then and boom! About, and about five miles, ten miles down, we seen that he wiped out. He, he he was right there getting up off the ground. His bike had went over the damn rail. He was lucky Ooh. he didn't go over the rail with the bike. Ooh. But he was wilding out and yep. like. If you're going to be on a bike, respect the fact that you're on a bike and that, um, it, you know, like helmet or not. The, pro- the problem is, you know, and, and this is what causes those accidents to begin with is, you know, you should be able to have the ability to drive fast on the left. But you got people that drive slow in every single lane and you force the fast drivers to do the little bob and weave moves. And the problem is, is when you're still going 100 in between all the others going at 65, 75. Somebody just pulls out. They're not even looking for you going 100 because in their mind, everybody's going what they're going. And sometimes those riders are being kind of reckless, though, too. Oh, it's reckless. But it's also, he has a perspective that you and I also have. I'm sure Julio has, you have had, where Europe is a different beast. Yeah. People drive differently. Their mentality is different. And it's, there's not a pride thing in being over in the slow lane. No. Because you could be in the slow lane doing 97, 80, you know, 110 miles an hour. And the guy over here in the second lane on the Autobahn is doing 140. Yeah. He's Mm -hmm. just get out of his fucking way. Yeah. Let him go. And you know what? Nobody dies over there or very rarely do they die. Very rarely. I say, I mean, we see that. But the average American can't understand that. They only see the attitude and the way it's been developed at, thus far. It would take an entire reset. Yeah. And it's just, you know, we all know. America yeah. needs an entire reset. <laughs> it needs a goddamn fucking solar flare to just take <laughs> all the fucking <laughs> electricity yeah. out and make people start from cavemen again. But, you know. <laughs> yeah, we you do know, need a substitute. We can only hope. Because, you know, yeah. the, the real bad part in, in, in referencing the Europeans is they're doing that 
with two lanes. We got four and five lane no, wide freeways, you. and we yeah. still can't thank manage. You. And we still thank can't you. manage that. Mm -hmm. Someone you always got to fuck you that up. You can't leave the one open. <laughs> I mean, yo, Steph, getting back to what you were saying, what what you think if they made a bike lane? On the highway, it would nah. just be bikes. No, nope. that work. Never. It'd be, well, it'd be death sport well, no. two thousand. Like well, if you like, go off well, that lane, you'll well, get fun. Well, like, well, let's boop, boop. hold up. A Any time that you see a, a carpool lane, the bikes are allowed in that lane. Yeah. Okay. They can jump in that. So that's, they're not getting on the freeway. I know. I see these motherfuckers on the like east. No, I'm talking about motorcycles. That's the, like that oh. is perspectively a bike lane for motorcycles. You're yeah. talking about right? Yeah, yeah. Motorcycles. Motorcycles. Yeah, on oh yeah. The freeway. That's the any boat motorcycle could be yeah. in the carpool yeah. lane. Yeah. So, I, I, I know we need to move on. Yeah. Uh, and yeah, sorry yeah. for cutting you off, but I would defer to Cali Blaze because we already talked. We already had this conversation about how to to remedy this traffic, and it's very extreme. But it would change it. It would be part of the reset. Tell him, Callie. What was the story? Was you remember what oh my God. God. Come on. Hold on, man. Give Don't me a second. Don't be shy. No, no. I'm definitely not shy. I'm trying <laughs> to remember some ridiculous thing I had and, and stuff backed me up on yeah, it. Yeah, it was about death to the 65 mile per oh, hour. Oh, that's in right. The we fast should kill lane. a few people. That's yeah. right. Yeah, Listen. We don't want to kill people. Let's just make that clear that nobody wants it. But, but we kind of do. How many times a day do you want to kill somebody in that? Yeah, level? but it, and also, <laughs> here's the thing about like a Germany autobahn situation: it takes three years just to get like a learner's permit. You're not allowed to drive on the autobahn. It take, you have these levels. You see the numbers on the cars. There's like really? a three, two, one, and a zero, I believe. And you're not allowed to hit the autobahn until you're a zero. Ah. And it, and it's and it, and that's how they learn. They and that's why it's. I'm not. I'm not saying it's know the that. best That's thing ever, but when I'm dry, I don't, I, I relax so much more. I Ubered here. I have cars. <laughs> you know what I mean? I just was like, I'm done with the stupidity of like how people can't just get it together. They can't get it together. And, and, and like, yeah. be like, yo, I, I, this is my comfort zone. Here's the lane for me. And it starts literally the moment you pull out of your, your property. Yes. Once you're literally on the on the street, you bam, could, you're you, in it. You could be in a private, like you know, HOA gated community, and motherfuckers yep. are gonna be trying to outrace you. <laughs> yep. To the yeah. front gate. Yeah. It's, that, it's that's like the, what? That's the crazy shit. Is that someone I'm knowing that they only got that much space will test you? I'm, I'm with nuts. with the Uber. All right. Next. We got a little. Am, uh, speaking of wiping actually, out, we got some uh, skating down some. the hill action for you guys. Oh, this is a classic. This is a nice. Oh, it's gonna get slammed right here. Here it comes. Scrape. Right at the bottom. This is the scrape. Oh, hell no. Oh. Done. Hey, did you hear the kid screaming right before he wiped? Watch, listen, listen to this. Look at those hands. Run, right run it back and just listen. Hold up. Dream on. Got, Dream on. You got oh, right up. It's a little song. Yeah. <laughs> I like this thing in the song, though. I but know. it was perfect for but it. But it's perfect, yeah. <laughs> Oh Listen, let's That's just, some road rash. Yeah, I just want to say, look, I'm all I, I support those that want to bomb hills because if you can do it successfully, Ooh. and I've Ooh. been blessed once, I'm just saying it's an incredible feeling. But if you're gonna bomb the hill, do do yourself some sense. Put on some gear. Yeah, put on gear, man. For real yeah. helmet. Honestly, one of my favorite things to do when I get really high at the studio is watch like these cats that do like the ten mile long board. Hey downhill runs where you just hear oh those are the crazy air and not <laughs> and yeah. but but the they don't even put music on it and like if you were on shrooms enough you can oh, yeah. kind of tap in it's one of the few things in life that i look at and be like damn i kind of want to do that and you'll hear them <laughs> not wheels. jumping out of airplanes or anything I, but that, there's uh, a part of me that's like oh i wish 10 years ago i might have took a crack at that <laughs> shit yeah one oh. thing they also bust their ass. No, those some of them, yeah. Back, yeah, yeah. Right there. yeah that, oh, I, oh I see that shit. And say, that's every shit one of the them have busted their ass. That's oh, what you know what I mean. Woo. I'm just looking for a learner road. Oh, you know what man. I mean? Just where I can get a little of that skit on and be like, "Hey, I'm fucking you know what I'm 53." Oh, yeah, <laughs> like to get to get that one. I don't good... need to do 97. You nope. know what I mean? Get, get me up to 63, 64. I'll feel like a gangster. Nah, no, that's fire. Uh, that shit right there is. Man, homie's doing 50 Woo! miles per hour at least, and that's not, not even more. a crazy downgrade. That's nope. just like a very small one, two percent downgrade. He yep. might have grind his nipples off, literally. <laughs> I'm always talking about people losing their nipples. That a lot of them have these vests, like the little, like, they're almost bulletproof vest-looking thing, looking things under yeah. their things, but a lot of them don't give a fuck. They don't wear anything. They 
And you, you can like watch their climbers. videos of them eating shit as much as you that's can watch their videos. The like crazy free- ones are when they're going down highways and the, they don't know if there's a car coming yeah. up the other lane. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And sometimes they get hit they get by splashed. that car. <laughs> they it's crazy. A, they take a little splash. That's real, I could watch those for hours. All right. yeah. Yeah, that's hours. Nice. Next. And that seems to be it. Thank you for your submissions. Keep them coming to Be Real TV. Did content. I say hours? Hours. Hours. That and Bigfoot shit. I'll watch that shit for hours. <laughs> Keep them go. coming to Be Real TV contest at gmail.com. We took the S out. And pyramids. <laughs> uh, Keep them coming to Be Real TV contest at gmail.com. We will run them and put them on. All right. Word up. And we thank you for those. We're about to open up the doors to the insane asylum. That means y'all in the live chat. All right. If you got a comment, question, shout out, suggestion, let's go. We like to hear it. Go get the door. Welcome to the Insane Asylum. All right, let's do this. First one up of the day, we got Marbell. Hell yeah. Don't be giving him a hell yeah. (laughs) 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 Marbell is saying, Uncle Everlast, what was it like meeting Easy E? Um, oh, Easy E was super cool. I mean, I'm I'm I met him a bunch of times. Uh, uh, I, his artist uh, Terry B. I I messed I messed around, dated her for a little while. I guess Julio and I were good friends, and I knew him through her. So Terry uh, B. I can't say I knew him personally very well, but as far as I knew him, he was a very cool dude. And did some extremely dope shit, like going to the fucking White House. Yeah, <laughs> but seems to be the unima- unanimous. Like, position. Yeah, you know, you, that's just that's. He was, there's certain things you can do that are just supremely legendary. And before Jay Z, he has about four so or five of time. them at least. So how, how did he? He has at least four or five. Hey, yeah. before Jay Z, of legendary and, things, he's got egot. Before, sure. hey, it's not official trophies. Before sure. LL and Jay Z, EZ went and mm-hmm. did that. But he got he got to go, and they didn't know he it was easy. They were going by his real name. Yeah, it was mm-hmm. first George Bush, right? Yeah, but yeah. It was it, it was some that was some wild shit. That's they just, wild. They just saw the money. Said, "Come he, see he, us." Uh, he uh, no, because he uh, he donated. He used to donate money to different organizations. So he don he was donating to the Special Olympics, and and in the Special Olympics, they they put a. Uh, you know the names together in a thing, and they pull the name names out. Oh, these cool. people get divided, but they didn't know Eric Wright was yeah. Easy E. Yeah, they didn't pull out uh, Easy E until he's coming out that's, the plane. That's wild because he's coming his out the plane. Of the universe. Yeah, right the, there, he was. The, all the cameras was waiting for him when he got off the plane. But when he told me the story, he told me that he wanted to just go see the White House. He, it wasn't about George Bush. You know, Ice Cube came and dissed him about it, but he was like, man, I, I just thought it was cool. I wanted to see what it looked like. Yeah, he had like, an opportunity. Yeah, he had like an opportunity, I, right? So he, he, that's why he went. He why didn't, not? You he know? didn't go because he was trying to go shake hands. Hey, Willie Nelson got invited. I also invi- feel what? this the dichotomy of like, we made fuck the police and I'm here at and the I'm White here. House. Yeah, chilling. Getting hey, flicks. listen, <laughs> Willie, Nelson, yeah. Willie Nelson got invited by uh, Jimmy Carter. He went. Mm-hmm. He smoked a joint on wow. the White House. On the roof, right? Yeah. So Amazing. If, if you get invited. Psh, Maybe with a sniper. Why not go? Easy E actually loved the publicity publicity because he told me. It, it, he told me one day, he says, I paid $2,500 for $2 million worth of press. Easy. Yeah. Because back then, you know what I mean? You, any press was press. It was like with the internet. You know what I mean? Easy. You got, you got to put on does it. newspaper. You know, people are talking about you. You know, so it was it was... It was cool for him. Word up. Rest in peace, easy. Next one. And we got Marbelle back up in here. <laughs> Hell oh yeah. Saying happy V-Day to Mrs. Hagen. <laughs> 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 she will be getting this Usi Kubanu chocolate seas candy. <laughs> <laughs> she will be swinging on it while it's on point. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> well, I don't really think so, B. Did I show you what uh, Marbelle's mother texted me last night? What did, you, oh, what did Marbelle's mom text you? So I'm just night? sitting there minding my own business. 10.07. This was last night. <laughs> a text message from Marbell's mother. <laughs> Marbell's mother told me found a babysitter for little Marbell. <laughs> he will be at their house, so now we can be as loud as we want. Can't wait to spend Valentine's Day with my big bolt daddy. <laughs> and she's saying, oh, and thought you should know. I can't stop sucking on lollipops today for some reason. <laughs> wow. You're a dick. Cold blooded. That's cold blooded. See, again? this was this this was like a sniper shot. He was ready. 
premeditated that waiting. That was good. Look at that. Oh, <laughs> <man>. <laughs> <laughs> <Mar -Bell. laughs> That's great. <laughs> they're, going, they're going at it for Valentine's Day. All right. <laughs> All right. And we got ZZ Green up in here saying, can I get a birthday shout out for my husband, Eric? He just turned 40. Hey, happy birthday, Eric. Happy birthday, Eric. Big 4-0. Four -oh. Four -oh. That's right. Um, you're now in the Sporty 40 Club. All right. Yeah. Look, what you should do is go get some top shelf weed. No boof. Hang out with your wifey and the people you love and that you know they love you, not the booth people that say they do and they just won't be around you. You know what I'm saying? If and I may, and a Pinot Noir. That's right. And celebrate yourself for your that's birthday, right. man. That's right. Salud, salud. Have, have some shots. Mm -hmm. And we got Jeffro up in here asking, salute to the OG Everlast. Will we soon see another collab with Be Real and yourself? Um, It's talked about all the time. I'm just make it happen you know waiting for them to show up at my studio at my house because i don't go anywhere he stays home <laughs> stay home this has encouraged me to come out here i like everybody in the room so <laughs> now there it is that's, oh, that's, 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 that's always key that's um <laughs> that's that's not often <laughs> everyone in the room honestly and we got and, mad buddha abuser up and in accompanying here. rooms mm. oh thank you there we go. Ooh, you, you sound cute. <laughs> <laughs> we got Mad Bo Buddha abuser up in here asking, who's a better paintballer, B or E? Uh, it's different positions, I believe. Pretty much. I think I I, I was the, the the rear of the, the big canister, and you were mid kind of guy, or were we both? We both played black back line, yeah. but you were in the center, and I'd play a corner. I'll say I was louder. Yeah. <laughs> the communicator. I'll say I was a little louder. For sure. No, you were a lot louder. Like sometimes Rambo, I, Rambo loud. Be ah. real might have been a better with the with the with the gun though. I might have to say <laughs> angles. I should say angles. Is that we? we yeah, I mean that that's a game of angles. angles. Like angles. you don't he really might have had his angles on a little bit more lock, but I could tell you where cats were. Yeah, well, that's a part of the game. What what people don't realize about paintball is that you got to have someone communicating to the other guys where the shots are and where to go to get the better shot. And he Maybe so what? Play. So what? Everlast was was Sounds playing cool. was our quarterback position. If you want, like, if you call it something, it's basically called the quarterback. So he's telling this corner guy, "Hey, shoot this way to get your guy up here because he can see the field a little bit different than we can on the corner." So mm -hmm. you need someone who can communicate that. So he played that position. Knows how to keep you out from getting shot. That's right. And I played the corner, so like you know. It, it was opposite corners, but I was just louder. That's really a, a lot of that was. And he could shoot better angles. Same team. But if we, if, but if we team. got you down two, three, oh, yeah. psh, we, it's problems for you. I don't even care. We, yeah, we and, rolled a few teams. And we played a lot of police. Yeah, we, we played a lot of Marines. Yeah, it was We fun. did I. Right. We held it down. The, the only ones that beat us were like 19-year-olds. That's yeah. crazy. <laughs> yeah. The little faster bastards. <laughs> what was right. the name of that team that oh. beat everybody? <laughs> The faster oh, bastard, faster bastard, or something. Well, we never really played them because they were on the pro circuit. Well, but when like, we would there practice, was like three or four squads that were young. Yeah, they had they had like three they had three under they had like a amateur squad, they had a semi pro and pro squad. I wasn't and, diving for shit. Yeah. They had a decade they on would, you at least. They would, they, yeah, but they would. Yeah, we'd they sometimes would dive, they would dive into some. Sh I'm just you know I'm just trying to yell. <laughs> we would sometimes shit. play their semi pro team. And they weren't as good as the pro team. So every now and then, we'd, we'd trade off wins and losses and stuff like that. They were a hard team to play, though, because, you know, they, they were trained by the pro guys. We didn't have, like, but one guy pro training the team, whereas they had, like, a full team. You know what I mean? So they were pretty good. And they got love from referees. Let's just and, call and, it like and that. And <laughs> if you won the whole season, you got, like, 30 grand. Mm. And yeah. uh, it was expensive. We made that shit last night. <laughs> <laughs> so it was like it was, was fun. fun. Yeah. I love fun, paintball. Yeah. I That's think it's shit. it's it's an amazing sport. But I'm saying it's we weren't as motivated as some cats. You just going out there going for fun. Well, five, five grand a pop. Well, it was, was it was, was it's going a, big. It's an expensive sport like golf yeah. is. You yeah. got to be willing to. Spend I spent that money. five grand on my gear. Yeah. You know what I mean? So it's like I just was there for fun. Well, yeah. you know, we 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 had the luxury of being sponsored. So a lot of the paint we didn't pay for. Sometimes we did. Other times. 
I it was it was given to us, and that's like the most expensive mm-hmm. part because everything else is a one time buy, right? Your gun, your harness, your uniform. You might have a couple of different visors because they get fucked up during the course of games if you if you catch some, right? But most of that is a one time buy. The thing you consistently buy is the paint. And if you don't have a paint sponsor, it's fucking expensive. So, you know, that's that's where it's at. So, like, we were fortunate enough not to have to pay for most of our paint. And other cats did. And, man, you know, like, it got expensive. expensive. Now, now that hurts, though, when you get hit by that, right? Yes, Hell there's yeah. a different okay. kind of pain. 20-year-old shot to the chest ain't the same as a 30-year-old shot. Oh, yeah. So, so a lot of different ways to play paintball. The way we played paintball was, like, tournament style. So it was, like, basically just... You had got what how, was it six, seven guys seven. At, at a time, and and you had your fastest guys go as deep as they could, and the the field was mirrored, so that means whatever <laughs> bugging barriers yeah, and you might and see some other shit is on the other side. So you basically spread your team as far and deep as you could. Pause, <laughs> and and then you locked off what you could with what was called lanes. Like, so nobody could cross a lane without you knowing where they were. Mm. So that's what they mean when they say, I could tell you where everybody was because I was in the very back corner and I'm very fucking loud. And you would see the lane. And a lot of that time he'd be feeding me like there's a guy over here on the left. Oh, there he is. Everybody knows. And you would see the lanes of paint being shot back and forth, like streams, I should say. And there's guys who think it's it's stripes. They'll be. And they go out there and play like it's war. And that's fun, too. That shit is real fun. But we actually played like tournament stuff. What were you going to say? Does does this ever happen? Like you shoot your own team? Oh, yeah. I used to. to shoot okay. some of my homies <laughs> right on the back of their pack all the time because they because they'd roll in the lane you know without saying hey i'm gonna move well, if, if you got they, good enough you just didn't react to getting shot and waited for somebody else well, to that, tell you but, or the, a, but the, ref, that that happened you know I mean? that happened too but i'm saying if if your front guy ain't telling you hey i'm about to make a move you might crack yeah. it has to be everything like as much as like a, like we're whereas i'm saying i'm bragging about being able to be heard because i can fuck i'm loud the, the guy who's furthest front, if he's gonna move anywhere, I have he has to somehow get that message to me, so I could get it to him and that guy and that. So guy. we don't shoot our guys, yeah, yeah. because yeah. we're we're it's, shooting it's streams of paint. Shit, man, it's zombie apocalypse yeah, yeah. shit it's, for it's, real. It's fun. You could get addicted, and we were <laughs> for sure. All right, next. Shout to Sandy Von Dubious and Infinite Blessings. Thank you guys so much for the donation. Thank you. And we got T.O. Bob up in here saying today's table is full of legends. Facts, B. Facts. Yeah, much love. Salute. And we got Jeffro up in here saying, I remember seeing once House of Pain with Grave Diggers and Biohazard opening up in Chicago. Wow. Everlast brought out Evan Seinfeld uh, to do Danny Boy Versus, and it was classic. It yeah. was Scott Ian. It was Scott wow. Ian you brought out. Danny Boy broke his uh, shin or, leg, or, you know, the bo- what's the bottom bone? That's not the, is it the femur? Ankle. Tibia. Shin. Tibia. Tibia. The bottom part. He broke his leg and mm. fucking... Uh, I was hanging out with the Anthrax guys, and Scott was like big, huge fan, and I, we were friends. And I was like, we needed to figure something out for like I don't know a week of shows, and he volunteered to come. And he that's actually crazy. he played he that's not dope. played, but he, but did, he did Danny, Danny Boy's parts. parts. That's, that's awesome. a legend. Yeah, that's it was, dope. It was crazy. It was that's fun. Dope. That's dope. Been around through the same time frame as everyone else. All comes from that same era. Well, yep. who, who's the or what's not who's the man, but the. Uh, I'm the, I'm the man. The, the thing they do with Public Enemy. I'm the man. Yeah, they did some early hip hop shit. Yep. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, so yeah, yeah, yeah. I, for, I forgot which one that was. It's I'm the man. I'm the man. Yeah, yeah. Right. And, and they did the remix of uh, Bring the Noise. Bring the Noise. Bring, Bring the, the Noise. That's what right. I know from yeah. But uh, first was I'm the man. It was a kind of a Beastie Boyish joint, but the the remix was yeah. super that, dope. No, that was dope. the stuff that I loved. I, that's where I was coming from, you know, in that whole oh. time where you were all doing. Part of the the blessed existence that y'all got to be part of, I was in the anthrax realm doing it over there with the metalheads. Yeah, mm. they had some dope shit, man. Oh, it was that. cool that they they that was they my fucked, favorite band that they fucked with hip hop when no, they when they no, fucked with Public Enemy. We were like, oh, it was hard, bro. They get it. Yeah, that's it what hard. I thought when I heard anthrax. Oh, that's, I was, I mean, uh, me and Scott hang, <laughs> hung out a bunch, and that's how the whole thing happened. I call, I literally was like, dude, we're gonna have to cancel this tour. You want to come out and be Danny Boy for a week? <laughs> you know, it's a, and once Danny Boy got his 
leg together and fixed and came back out on the road. He put that it was, cape it was, on. It was like five, six shows where he came out. That's awesome. Literally, man. he studied his ass. So I was, it was crazy. He studied every, and he Eric it. came and did the shit. Like you're talking about practice. He yeah. showed up every sound check was practice from that moment man, man. on. Salute wow. this. Salute this. Yeah. Thing. Salute this guy, man. Scotty ends the man. He's pro, yep. man. Yep. And we got AO up in here asking Everlast, nice Doom shirt. What's your favorite Doom album? <laughs> Oh shit! I mean, uh, 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 album. Uh, I don't even think of albums anymore. But what's the one? The, M- the uh, with the fucking green MF Doom. Oof. I can't even think. No, no, the green. The oh, oh, fuck me! You know how fucking baked I am right now, dude. And you put me on the spot. <laughs> <laughs> wow, Fail. Wow. I'll the, take a shot on that. Here's the one where you <laughs> just say next one. Yeah, that's where you say next. Next. One. The one with the green album cover. No, no. <laughs> the cookies. No, not cookies. Fucking oh my fucking god! You know what's Get crazy is that that happens to people. You know the shit, yeah. but when someone asks you, you totally forget yeah. it. I've been there. It happens to me, happens me all no. the time. Yeah, that's yeah. that's donor shit. All right, next. And shout to Av, shout to Ivy by the pound and Air Nine Hundred. Thank you guys so much for the donation. Thank you for the dono, my. And we got Twackalack up in here saying, what's Twack and fam? Shout to the table. It's full of legends and stay elevated. Well, thank you very thank much. Thank you. Thank you. Cheers. Appreciate this. And we got T.O. Bob up in here saying, House of Pain and Cypress Hill helped shape my childhood. One love to the whole table. Thank right. you. Thank you. We appreciate that. One love. You had an interesting childhood. <laughs> I could tell. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> if you grew up to us, <laughs> you oh, had an interesting shit, childhood. <laughs> you had a good life. Yep. I mean, that's that's the that's the story you always hear. Yo, you was the shit. You was my shit in high school. Yeah. In high school or some shit like that. Like, you know. I love hearing. Well, because I think about it like this: if your parents let you listen to us, you had some open ass parents. You, therefore, you must have experienced some stuff. Shit. And if you were like sneaking around your parents, then you were wilding the fuck out. Wilding, mm-hmm. and you were experiencing stuff. So I, then again, I say, if you were listening to our shit, you were going through some things. Word. Salute to y'all, because we were too. <laughs> Next. <laughs> yeah. And shout to the vital Chris D. Bands and Drace and Angel Medizzi. Thank you so much for the donation. The Votto? That Votto. That Votto. And we got Rose and Ricky up in here saying, much love to everyone at the table. Be real. We need a Dr. Green Thumbs Cafe. We do. You're not wrong. We're manifesting this right now. We have the power right now with this table. I'll be dead. We got enough vibes right here to manifest such things. Let's do it. I'm ready. And we got Twackalack up in here saying, shout out to Callie Blaze up in the nest. My man. (laughs) Sorry, Dom. I know you weren't loaded. (laughs) (laughs) Thanks, Twack. And shout out to Kill Your Radio, Greedy Greg, and Jesse. Thank you guys so much for the donation. Thanks, man. We appreciate y'all. And we got Gabriel up in here saying, smoking on that good and much love all the way from Colorado. Hell yeah. Colorado. And real quick, I want to say salute to everybody that's uh, maybe possibly watching uh, for the first time. You may caught on to to this show through like the Joe Rogan uh, experience that I just did. And salute to Joe for having me on. Um, you know, salute to you and welcome to the community and all that. Next. And we got Gen C up in here. Thank you so much to Gen C and Florida Nick for your guys' super chat. Thank you. And we got Midget Mike up in here saying, Everlast, what was your process when you wrote Fed Up with Guru? Oh, um, honestly, uh, we were just good friends and we got in a room together and the thought process was like, hey, take a, a, a starting line from each other's any verse we could think of of each other's that's dope and whatever i think we did eights and it was it's just but start it with one of your intro bars from something that's so dope and the phrase and, however but start the phrase with something that yeah no like know. take you know yeah i think when it, he said pack it up pack it, it in, in and then into something else and right. like and I, as in the same way i i at the moment and 
a little. I'm glad I Ubered here. Yes. <laughs> okay. I would have given less you a for ride. the weed than the fucking than the, than the whiskey. Yeah, you but, would take a, a hot line of his and just flip it. That's it. The, exactly. No, it was just kind of like, hey, let's do each other's this. And yeah. and and the the weird part is like, there's two <laughs> versions that we, nobody caught on to in mastering. Where one's like ver- Guru has two different versions of yeah. like the back half of the verse, I believe. Oh, I didn't and, know that. Now I'm gonna tell you something crazy because I used to, I really uh, the record I played. I didn't the even most, catch it till like a fan pointed it. <laughs> really? Out. Wow! I, I gotta, I gotta look yeah. into that now. It's either like a, a remix and what when I wound up on the album. Wow! Or something, I gotta hear something. that. And it's like, but it's two different versions, and then one half of the version wound up on an album of his. In another verse, mm. Mm. I, I don't I, remember the. Exact I wanted to ask you. I'm, I'm glad he brought that up. That song "Fed Up" because that's probably one of the records that I played of yours the most. Because I, 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 you, you came off so hard on that record, and I know it's Guru, but I just you came off so hard. Everything you busted Splashed on that, him. yeah, was uh, man, you say something, 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 something. I was on acid. Something we brought from here to Lake Placid. I mean, that, well, again, that was in the middle of my heavy acid. You Divine killed that Styler record, and I just dropping mega tabs and and again putting myself in a room with what i considered to be one of my heroes and gods uh, oh, man. of rap and it was like me in the room would be uh, not not well be real was later but i'm saying with guru yeah yeah was like all right whatever we do i gotta at least it's got a match. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, you, I, my yeah, goal yeah. was it never more to than destroy match. or you kill or kill anything or be like these were my heroes. These are guys I aspired to be inspired and by. Primo was you know doing I mean? the production. That actually was lethal. He killed. Oh, it was yeah, lethal. You know, we okay, found yeah. like the this alternate fucking little loop to, and then I brought it into back to, into to the, the, just to get a rap. Because you got him to, to rap, rap. You got him to rap oh, on it man. again. That's but what we, but love. You know, the though. drum was a little different. Yeah, there was a was little different. different swing, but it was definitely understood to be the so, homage. But there is also like. It would dip into this. One of my favorite realm. records that you made, man. Yeah, for yeah. real. No, it was so, one of my I favorite records record, ever. Man. You know I mean, just because you know, getting Word to up. work with my dude, and we, you know, we wound up spending a lot of time together after that. So salute uh, to Lethal for that. We got to get him over here. One of my favorite oh, all-time yeah. rap records ever in the history of ever ever is "Step in the Arena." Oh, rest in the arena rest, for sure. rest in peace, Guru. Man, it's, yeah, it's just me. I'm not boom, telling you it's the greatest for me. That yeah, for sure. That by any means necessary. Yeah, I mean, follow the leader. And, yeah. you know, uh, it takes a nation of millions yeah. and maybe a couple others. Yeah. Uh, I mean, definitely the first Cypress album. Yeah. Sure. yeah. Yo, shit for sure, man. All right. And we got Mad Buddha up in here saying peace and love to the most high. Word up. Yes, yes. Yes. Much love. And we got Gorilla Strong up in here saying shout to OG Everlast. Thank you for the years of sharing your gift. Any chance of another war porn industries album? Um, Be real threatened to join it so uh, it might happen <laughs> yeah me jack be real i've heard something about that but i measure divine styler producing i don't know i don't know and we got johnny walker up in here asking what's the difference between chronic and kush uh chronic is just a term for good weed yeah. kush is an actual strain of weed and that is the difference yeah. but has been in modern times turned into what chronic yeah. is Sometimes so they, 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 yeah. they, they almost allowed this to happen, but people now know the difference. Oh, yeah, for sure. Yes. It's also the testament to, to, to a, you know, a piece of art that almost influenced a whole nother culture. Like, you know, the chronic just being explaining itself as a piece of art in itself that was considering itself the chronic, the chronic the bombest the weed bomb or the bombest yeah, of whatever sure. yep. because that's what the term was at the time yeah, for, for sure. good ass weed it like art imitates itself and back yeah. around you mm-hmm. know what i mean so you know i can dig it which is but what i'm kush saying. is the first shit that ever fucked my life up but yeah. that's why i'm just saying it's the same in, <laughs> in that sense you know what i mean like the chronic meant you had the best when people say kush for the most part they're referring to the best because we know yes. when that was around there was nothing better. Yeah. Yo, how many records came out? And we out? knew the good the dudes who had it. Yeah. Like you knew who had it. Like <laughs> no, somebody would say this and be like, "Who? Kush, Kush. No, that ain't it." No. What were you going to say, Les? I was just saying how many Kush records was made at that time, you know. Oh, yeah. Kush, Everybody Kush. was dropping it. Kush. They didn't even really have it. Oh, before. in their verse, you'll hear Kush or Kush or Kush, Kush, uh, Kush or whatever. Because, again, there was an era when I was just hanging out with B and happened to have my own bag. 
But we went around the studios and knocked out cats that made weed anthems at this point. Yeah. I mean, I ain't, Be Real will tell stories one day because now this little provocation will have people asking, what was he talking about? <laughs> and you, you, the, you, you would oh, have cool. to ask, you'd have to ask, um, you'd have to ask Snoop, but I, I heard him say one day that he, can't, he said the word chronic because he was talking about hydroponic. He but they just say, man, it's it's the chronic. So that's where the word chronic comes from. From hmm. you'd have to ask Snoop because he explained his, his way. But that's where it came from from hydroponic. And when they smoked it, he's like, man, man, you got more of that chronic. And they started calling it the chronic. And everybody thought when you're smoking bomb weed, they just called it the chronic. And now what you're saying, B real is, is right. Is you actually have Kush and that. To me, it would be considered what you say the chronic. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's his own strain. It's like a mean? definition. Like but a back then, whatever was good, people would call it the chronic. culturally birthed. For sure. For right. sure. But one is like when you call a lizard by its actual <laughs> proper scientific for sure. name. For sure. And one is when you say lizard. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Yeah. And we got hockey sn- we got hockey sniping up in here. Yoda420 and Angel Medizzi. Thank you so much for your super chat. Yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you. And we got Miss Raquel's World up in here saying Happy Valentine's Day to all. And she's saying besitos. Thank you. Happy Valentine's Day. Happy Valentine's Day. Valentine's Day. Yes. Yeah, baby. Um, and we got Eileen up in here, Robin DeHood, and that Vado Chris D. Bands. Thank you guys so much for your donation. Thank you for your donos. Thank you. Thank you. And we got uh, Shaylin up in here saying much love to the table. Thank you very much. Much love. Happy uh, Valentine's Day. Squeeze. And we got Braggy B saying Everlast is my spirit animal. Salute. Right on. Bill Murray is my spirit animal. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, that works. <laughs> and we got J Max D up in here saying AOB. Yeah, man. Have you ever seen Colton study Spanish? I've never seen Colton study. <laughs> <laughs> and from the looks of it, <laughs> he didn't back then either. <laughs> he didn't. No one saw him study. <laughs> That's the, con- the that's the conundrum Conundrum. Here. Yeah. Hey, that'd be conundrum. <laughs> And we got Marvell back up in here saying, B, if you see Colton with a black eye, the crip did it. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. And Marvell saying, Blue Lights Visions coming out March 30th. Right. Colton yeah. ain't ready. Remix. There it is. And we got oh, Hybrid man. Cypher up in here saying, I kicks the flavor like Stephen King writes horror. Oh, word. And we got a uh, hybrid back up in here ask, or saying, Peace Everlast, do you mean Danger Doom or Doom Thank you. Day? Thank you. You know how high I am. Yeah, yeah. Thank yes, you. Yes, we do. Danger Doom. That was, that was it. Danger that dude just saved my day and All made right. me feel a little better. All right. That's cool. Sometimes we oh, need a little lift. Oh, you damn. Know. Like trying to picture the T-shirt at home. Like the, <laughs> I forgot I even had a Doom shirt on. I don't drink. It was a little- I do that too. Wes. Fuck you and your weed and your liquor. I'm sorry. <laughs> Look, I don't Satanists. <laughs> I don't drink and smoke. I'm so, I'm so, so sorry. Harder. I'm so sorry. I don't drink. And I love that guy. God damn, because I was still going like, what the fuck was I trying to think of, man? <laughs> I don't drink and smoke so I can pay attention. Yeah, there you go. I hear you. You could have helped me, dude. You could have like threw a note. You sober ass motherfucker. <laughs> All right, next. And we got Juicy Jewels up in here saying, damn, what a great crew and looking good, fellas. Hello. Thank, Thank you. you. Happy Cheers. Valentine's. We try. Excellent. And we got Tats Wagler saying, Callie Blaze owes some dabs for being too quiet. Oh, what he's been, to do? Yeah, I he's talk out of the I way. Can. Exactly. He ain't Thank trying you. to block everyone. Thank you, God Steph. <laughs> I feel you, Don. Hard to breathe with a kilo of gold on your neck, man. Yeah, <laughs> thank you. Holding the neck down. And we got Jibby up in here saying, there was a point in my life back in 91 when I paid $20 for half a gram of hydro in New York City. Oh, mm. yeah. It was expensive over there, my. And loved every fucking 30 minutes of that shit. That kush we talk about, mm-hmm. that was... That was the one thousand dollar bag. And the in papaya New York. hot dog you ate right after that. Wow. That, that hey, that's true. Like what they, had, they what, had it there what for Steph, one kid. Yeah, for what wow. Steph said. Eight hundred. Eight hundred. If you were lucky. Wow. Yeah. Thousand. Hey, bro. Remember, it was one of y'all people. Either you or Mugs. We first shows that you all were doing in New York, and it was like nice high rise building on the fucking west side. We all pulled up. It was a party. 
huge plate of cookies. We were all hungry. We just started eating cookies like it wasn't shit. Yeah. Had no idea that they were edible cookies. No way. Oh, they were good as fuck, too. Like, we were so hungry. I ate like 18 cookies. Man. Oh, my God. <laughs> Holy shit. Yeah, I think I was high for three days. Yep. Wow. Yeah. Do you remember this? I don't remember dude's name. Yeah. But we knew him for many years after that, and I still don't remember his name. <laughs> we called him Fred Flintstone, but his name was, uh, I think, man, I don't. I, I can't give his name away right here, yeah, but I, we called him Fred Flintstone. That's crazy. I don't remember that part, uh, but I remember eating like 18 cookies. Yeah, he was good. And then somebody being like, how many cookies you eat? Well, I was like, like 18. You know, they were like this big, you know, like <laughs> you're not gonna, famous. Yeah, they, yeah, they weren't big. Not famous, famous. <laughs> yeah. What were you going to say, you know Steph? I, mean? I just want to say, I, I don't know every strain, and I'm never going to claim to know every strain, but... I'm confident there's never been a, another strain that costs more than a thousand for no. besides Kush. No. no. It's the only thing never. I can ever never. I, not that I not that I have Did it start that. with a J? I don't know. I feel like it did. It might have. I feel like it did. Possibly. But it, it did. didn't. But it did. Right? I mean, you, it did. You might have paid five or six hundred for an ounce of diesel. Which uh, was yeah. Pop, well, I'm just saying as far as popular goes. Mm. Yeah, maybe at the most six hundred. At the most, sure. that would yeah. be pushing it. But that would also be because yeah. the fucking dude like roller skated it up to your like hotel room and pulled it out in a little fancy a little plastic box. Plastic. At that <laughs> time, <laughs> at that time, hey Bolton, how many more you got? Uh, we got about four or five. All right, run them. Uh, we got um, let's see here. We got hybrid cipher up in here, and he's saying, "Oh, thank you so much. You're welcome to Everlast." He answered your question earlier. All right. We got Mark LaLa saying, Everlast and House of Pain is iconic. Thanks for the party music. Cypress Hill and House of Pain made the club pop back in our day. Miss you at Haunted Hill. And when will you do a West Coast tour? Oh, like I said, when Be Real like, says, come sit on the back of the bus and do this one song. Bring <laughs> <laughs> it. I, uh, I missed that show because, honestly, I had COVID. It was cra you know three years, and I went to mm -hmm. Vegas, did my first show. And came home with fucking COVID, hmm. so uh, yeah, I was I was a little bummed. I was hoping to make the uh, Halloween show, but next this year, this year, this year, this year, last year. Oh fuck, it is this year. It's this year now, Poppy. It. it would be It'll dope happen. to see. It, it would be dope to see all you guys oh. just do like one Soul Assassin show in L.A. I'm, I'm gonna see if Sun Doobie's all available. All you guys together. I'm gonna see if Sun Doobie's available, and we just do that right. Just at a small, a small, smaller spot, but just you know, just make it intimate. But it'd be cool to record and be able to see that. But it'd just... also be crazy because you don't understand how many like actual really dope musicians have touched the projects, projects over uh, the years. Yeah, from the Cypress side, from my side, you know what I mean. Yeah. Like, there's a lot of cats people don't understand. A lot of Fishbone has touched it through my end. Oh yeah, a lot of metal cats have touched it through bees, and you know, uh, there's a lot of interesting ideas that could be done in that realm. Yeah, that'd be tight. I'd love to see which that. Which is which is only the reason I want to do things. Anyway. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. It'd be dope to see that. It'd be interesting. It would be dope. You know what I mean, we we got things like I said. We talk about things all the time. I I don't know. Bobo's not around because we've been talking about something. I thought I was gonna talk to him today, but I think he's scared. No, he's he does he comes in on uh, Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. He's Salute to Bobo, he's watching. Bobo. Call your boy Eric, son. Eric, call Eric. He's scared because I'm gonna make him do some wild ass. Empires work. And we got J Max C up in here asking, what are your thoughts about mixing RSO in yogurt? Um, you could. I don't know how that would taste, but like for me, like it's gel cap. Boom, pop it. Is that Benzino's up. first group? RSO. <laughs> no, no. Is it? Isn't no, that, that's RSO. They were the almighty RSO. Uh, it is R the almighty I, So I'm not crazy. Don't no, fuck. No, yeah, no, 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 the no, RSO, he's talking I'm hip-hop, B. I hear RSO. That was some... I was like, isn't that... He, some, he's, he, 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 he's sorry. Talking, he's talking about Rick... Jesus. He's talking about Rick Simpson oil, full-spectrum oil, okay. whatever, you know. My bad. I didn't understand. But you're right. You're but right, too. I feel too. like, I, right I feel like I'm with not wrong. Hey, the right. almighty. Hey, that's us now because we popped that RSO. <laughs> I, I, feel, I feel like Benzino would be happy with even that <laughs> fact that that's hey. my first reference hey. of that. For if, sure. Hey, have you tried any RSO yet? I have not. Okay. We're not gonna, since, we're, we're gonna know, I'm gonna almighty give, RSO. I'm going to give you some. <laughs> I believe and, they were labeled. Listen, I'm, I'm going to give you some. Were Tommy Boy? Eric. No? Eric. I don't know what. I'm high. What? I know you are. I'm going to give you some. 
I'm gonna give Julio some less right. and step. Can I put it in and like a milkshake? And we're gonna the, <laughs> we're gonna be the new mighty R. Oh, so oh, oh, oh. All right, we're gonna be like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That sounds like an endorsement that uh, I'm. I'm open to conversations. About. <laughs> Listen, it doesn't hit you for four hours, but when it hits, it's real. Next. And we got Thanks. Freddie G up in here asking Everlast, how was the experience making the song Turn Your Lights On with Santana? Um, well, I'm, it's, wow, as being as unarrogant as possible in this state of mind, I made the song before Santana heard it. Um, he all the solos he did he he did over the open spaces, but the song that was submitted to him was already produced and written by myself and Dante Ross. Mm. Um, he he showed up um, at when when I did uh, uh, Saturday Night Live, and after the show, somebody came in the room and were you, were you in the band yet? No, I don't think. I think so, Truly no. Odd was. Yeah, it was yeah. Actually, I think it was Truly Odd. And uh, but somebody came in the room and said Santana is looking for you, and I was like, get the fuck out of here, kind of thing, you know what I mean? And he came in the room and he said, I found, you know, I was sent this song. I really want this song. Can I have this song? And it was Santana, so I said, oh, you know, sh- sh- damn, sure. Wow, and, and <laughs> when, he's playing this and weekend on one he's, of his biggest albums. Yeah. Hey, listen, he's playing Friday night. Yeah, I don't, I don't know, cause um, Everlast, let me ask you. So he so, doesn't call my phone. Everlast, let me ask you. So, so gunshot those. Basically, uh, <laughs> he's answering you back. The guitar pieces, he's answering yeah, you back. Yeah, basically. basically, that's that, what's crazy that's about it. Already done, yeah. That must but have been was, crazy, bro. It was bro. submitted like that. But, oh, but I mean, I mean, with his pe, well, he added his pieces. He oh. added his pieces. Oh, wow. once, once we like decided that to do it to let him have the song. Damn, Yo, if you read crazy, the like bro. credits of the song, like his own little thing <laughs> is like, "This is the centerpiece of my album." Thanks, kind of thing. It was the first thing he secured. Wow. And. uh that must have been crazy, cool. bro. Awesome. It was a good run, but like I said, you know, he's doing. I mean, I ain't. Mean, he's playing what the bowl this well, weekend. What were we gonna say, Les? Uh, I was gonna say, yeah. So I he was know. make. He was making the guitar cry behind you. Like, yeah, that's what he does. It, it, that's you what know, he does. It, well, every, not for nothing. I mean, every song Maria Maria was made by Wyclef. Yep. You know, what I mean, the other one was made by the uh, what's his name, the guy Rob was, Thomas. The, Rob Thomas. Yeah. These are. He st- He just p- sort of snapped in, basically. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's, uh, you know, he put his flavor he, he on had it. Guys like you know, A and R dudes like Clive Davis his whole life. You know, what I mean, and I'm not disrespecting, man, but it's like all I'm saying. It's like he let you guys be he's, creative, he, and he's he just, playing the bowl no. this weekend. Right? Well, it, it's basically <laughs> like this. It's it's basically like this. It's a style that Rick Rubin. I won your Grammy, right? Wait, wait, I won. I won here. It's 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 a style oh. that Rick Rubin has. He'll let you do the creative part, and then he'll come tell you, yep. you know what might need to come in there and fill in the blanks that's being a you know producer saying? that's being a producer mm-hmm. it, because like you you talk about it too and you and the way you talk about it is great you know like you know you make all these things and you come up with and you're adding your parts but you're not married to it until it's done because it's still going to filter through another person right you it's, know and that's what the producer's doing he's taking and bringing things to it that you didn't even consider you might not you, see or hear yeah you I, were in I, a different lane who are we definitely. talking about no, just, just any producer. Yeah, stuff. just any producer. Def, uh, uh, Whether it's your like stuff. Dante produced the, the yeah. record, I wrote it, and you know, and no disrespect, Santana did like you know forty solos, and Dante narrowed it down to whatever to what wound want, up yeah. on the record. He produced, and then it was yeah, he yeah. produced it, and then it became mixed by whoever mixed the record. You know what and, I mean? And so it's, hu- like, and it's huge. And that's what I'm saying. There's, you know, like every one of those solos were great, I'm sure. Oh, they were. But it, but it had yeah. to have somebody else's ear to define which one which of all one, of them yeah. was the most catchy. Somebody I'll, that could I recognize would say that's them. Dante Ross on yeah. that particular yeah. That's being Salute a, that's the producer. Yeah, yeah. Salute, Lord, Salute, Salute to Dante. Dante. Somebody told me he's, he's playing the bowl this weekend? Yeah. <laughs> that's what I was saying. <laughs> he's playing this yeah. weekend. Hold on. All right. Stop. Next one, if there is. And that seems to be it, but we're going to give away some Cali Vibes tickets today. Let's go. We're giving away two tickets today so let's spin the wheel here we go oh let's see who comes dun, up dun, 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 dun. <laughs> <laughs> gabriel gg gabriel gonzalez <laughs> Hell yeah. i thought it was appropriate man i mean i know it's rob thomas's joint or right <laughs> or was that white clips 
I don't know. I'm not sure on that one. I don't remember. I know you don't know. (laughs) (laughs) It doesn't matter. It it doesn't matter. All right. Still just trying to figure out, is he he's really playing the ball? He is. Weekend? He's playing this weekend, but it's Dang. now he's playing out towards uh Riverside, like Riverside. Or like, like, like wait, San, Man- San Manuel. San Manny. Uh, or somewhere nah, out there. I, I still didn't get that call. So. All right. Next. All right, let's give away number two. Here we go. I like that little wheel. That's tight. <laughs> Von Dubious. Oh yeah, Von Dubious. Von Dubious. <laughs> Salute to Von Dubious. <laughs> Two tickets. To uh, paradise. That's right. <laughs> Get your, Pack your bags and leave tonight. All right. All right, look. Uh, you got two uh, tickets. Thank God I Ubered. To Cali <laughs> Vibes Fest in Long <laughs> Beach this weekend. Yeah, that sounds fun right there. All right. Featuring Snoop Dogg, Cypress Hill. Man, that's going to be lit. Right? Many uh, more. It's going to be where is this? Damn. Long Beach, LBC. Oh, that's not a bad. That's, that's like a hundred hundred dollar nice. Uber. Yeah, it's it's a good one. I'm so good. come down, join us. Good? And, yeah. All right. Come on, you know you're always good. All right, look, we want to thank everybody for uh rocking with us today. We want to thank Everlast for jumping in on the table. Hopefully we can cajole him to get down here more often <laughs> on a Tuesday. I have to remember the T-shirts I wear when I come. No, that's all. <laughs> Word up. You got any shout-outs? Call me out there. No. No shout-outs? <laughs> <laughs> all right, cool. That's simple. Cool EOG. How's that for shout refreshing? Out. That's shout refreshing. Shout-out to everybody tuned in. We appreciate you. We'll be back next week, man. Yeah. What up, what up, what up? Shout-out everybody on the check. Shout-out everybody on the table, the, the whole Dr. Green Thumb squad. Uh, word. If you on the IG, check check for me. Psycho Less official, and it's Tuesday. We're about so to mix. Yeah, get ready for that mix. Valentine's Day mix, man. That's Valentine's right. mix. Word. Day. We'll throw some lit. joints. All right, Bombo. Uh, shout to Ray Morning Shot Films. Shout to the Dominator. Shout to Callie Blaze for hanging up here as well. Yeah. And also, don't forget send your submissions into Be Real TV Contest at Gmail dot com. Thanks. Thank you. Kali Blith. Uh, shout out to uh, Everlast for coming through. It was awesome. Thank you, you, sir. Today. Uh, shout out to everybody at the table. Happy Valentine's Day to wifey. And uh, shout out to everybody that uh, supports our brand. Much love. Mm-hmm. Yeah, shout out to all the legends. Uh, Mark Sargent, Karen B., David Weiss, Everlast, B., Julio G., yep. Psycho Lizzy, Bobo, uh, Bolton, Ray Ray at Morning Shot Films, Taryn at Velvet Hammer, The Dom, Pedro, Aton, Javi Lopez, The uh, Asylum, all the uh, Twitch War, the uh, the uh, Discordalies, and the um, Asylum and 5150s. You all have a great week, and uh, we'll catch up with you uh, on Friday. Have a good one. Word up. Fill the circle with love, man. Yes, you know sir. What I'm saying? Spread that shit out to your friends, to your family. To everybody who means something to you and the ones that you know are not good for you, boom. Put them on the booth shelf. Never touch them. Don't even go near them because guess what? They're toxic and you don't need no toxicity in your system. Keep booth free, negativity out, always in the positive lane and spread that. You know what I mean? And 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 love your loved ones for real, man, because you don't know how much time you got here. And today's Valentine's Day, so your partner, whoever, whatever that is, love them. Swallow that. Be real. TV.